It is still midday in the city of Baldur's Gate. A low gray mist has risen, as it always does, and every now and again a light drizzle of rain sometimes pelts down. Not too fiercely, not too roughly, but just keeping the place nice and damp. Lovely. You have managed to make your way up into the upper into the uh, the uh, upper city because you have been given a writ by the current marshal of the Flaming Fist, Liara Portier, because she wants you to come here and remove mm -hmm. uh, Thalamra Van Thamper. Um, but the watch is still patrolling and uh, going around, and we've already determined that the guards of the Van Thamper Villa are paid extremely well and likely will not be bribed. So it is at this point that we return to your conversation. All right. So Phineas is being held right now by Tarina. Yes. Yes. I'll, I'll go up and I'll just look. Phineas, I ha so I'm going to explain to you what's going on. So I need you to listen, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Rowan is in trouble and we might need to help her. Okay? But... Well, let's go. Well... <laughs> True, but, um, well, we got this information from Kamel, and he's kind of sketchy about where he got the information, so part of me wonders if maybe this is a trap and maybe we're actually walking into trouble. Oh, well, then let's not go. Yeah, I don't know. It's very confusing. Well, we almost had a plot push, <laughs> <laughs> and then we had an anchor cast. <laughs> and, and, let's go! And, and, and where is she? Um, apparently maybe in this house, we think. Oh! Oh, why don't we knock on the door? I'll start walking towards the door. Oh. Or, so, or attempting to walk. I'm so still being held. The, uh, <laughs> the villa itself is a stately stone edifice with a detached stable house. Both of the buildings have sloped rooftops covered with red clay tiles. A 12-foot high stone wall encloses the villa. And uh, there are uh, lanterns that are lit down at various points, which are currently unlit. The wall features three wooden gates, the main entrance, and a coach gate to the south, as well as a postern gate to the north. You're currently in front of the main entrance. So Kamel has opened the door, some guards came over, he had a quick conversation with them, and then they closed the door, and that's kind of where you are at the moment. Yes. Sir. No, we, yeah, we were talking, there was another guard looked over, and then we left. That was one of the watch uh, patrolling the streets, yes. Right. He asked if you were loitering, and you said, no, sir. Well, actually, you showed the writ. There's kind of a side view of the of the, of the villa. Did we say we were going to use the writ to get in? To the house? Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't believe think that will do Marmalade much. had a plan. Well, I thought about maybe like going up and just basically saying, hey, we know what happened to the spa. Could we talk to someone? Yes, I think that's yes. where we left the, it uh, last session. The Frolicking Nymph bathhouse, as you know, which is the which was the front for the Temple of the Dead Three beneath mm -hmm. it, was owned by the Van Thamper family, and because someone took the front door off of the hinges, it was ransacked by thieves and rapscallions. I have no idea what you're talking about. Also, there were a ton of bodies left behind as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also that. Oh, goddamn. Uh, can't can confirm. Can't so confirm. So for sure, there would be some kind of investigation undergoing at that location by the Flaming Fist and likely also some of the Watch members. No comment. Yes, and at least one of them was an employee of the spa. So the Mortlock, yes. Yes. So her son. Yeah, I don't think that'll I honestly don't imagine that will matter in this uh, in this uh, family. Family, no. It, probably not, so not, but politically it will. Sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were. We had discussed before we went off air last time. We had just discussed the idea. I think, unless it was just after the session, maybe, of just you know saying like, "Hey, we are the ones. We know what happened think, at the spa, yeah. aka we're the ones who trashed <laughs> the spa." <laughs> That's not what we're gonna do. Yeah, the goal is to just get in. Yeah. Once we're behind I, the door. I mean, if you put Phineas down, he's gonna go and knock on the door. You told him it was in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So that's up to you. Me. Uh, he is still well, being held by Tarina. Yes. Yep. So, I mean, just, just I am keep restrained. holding on to him. Um, my worry, though, is like... He smells. Well, yes, he does. I, He's old. Oh, one to duck. You smell like a bear and an owl. Thank you. Is a verbal <laughs> insult part of the attack? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and what were you eating for lunch? Fish. Ugh. Ugh. Well, Always fish. Yeah. Um, but m I also worry that, well, you already went up there and introduced yourself to the guards, so they're going to be kind of suspicious. So. Well, 
what are we going to say when we when we talk to them? Um, well, we 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 we're investigating the happenings at the bathhouse, the break-ins and stuff. And my my dear murderous girl, I think they'll be suspicious no matter what. Well, but yeah. If they let us in, would ask us to relinquish our weapons. We're in trouble. Oh, it's it's just my walking stick. No, you would not part an old man from his you walking stick. You wouldn't take an old man's cane, would you? Um. <laughs> That's not what I'm worried about. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. we we could always try the the back way. There's the stable. Oh, are the horses? Assumedly, yes. We could we could set the horses free. Interestingly enough, um, oh. horses are Actually, having oh, horses yeah. running like in within the city walls outside of your own property is uh, not allowed. T- Temple's actually Horses correct. are my, bigger than a peacock. That's right. My, my cane is drenched in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Some hair stuck to it. A skull, tooth. Why would anyone have a stable? Uh, well, you could have a stable. For to, riding for your peacocks? Own, for your own horses. Oh. Um, you just would have to have them... Uh, you would have... I mean, if you're a noble, you can get away with stuff. Mm. But essentially, you'd have to actually have them transported. Is there any kind of window? You like you wouldn't, ele- you you wouldn't be able to legally ride your. Sorry, I just I just city. pictured horses on a cart yes. being pulled by other yes. things. <laughs> that would be by people. Yes. yes. There's no windows or anything in that stable, is there? No, there are not. No. Uh, if we if could I, make windows. If, yes. Well, how, uh, Clark? Lift me up, would you? I'll take Phineas from Tarina and I'll lift him up. So that you can How? peek over the wall. It is a twelve foot high wall. Okay, that was I'm the like question. Eight or nine feet. That's not high enough. He's a dwarf. I'm stretching. Yeah, but I'm. <laughs> He's standing. I'd say, on I'd say you could maybe just like barely. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I, I, so what I'm looking for is uh, how tall is a stable? So the stable, Assuming I can see is stable. definitely uh, lower than the uh, the villa itself. Perfect. It's going to be about. Um, it's just a little bit higher than the actual wall itself. So about maybe fifteen feet tall. What do you think? Well, if we were to get on top of the stable, we could we could let the horses free. Tarina. Yes. Do you feel like getting up to some mischief? Every single day of my life. I don't After you, my lady. I don't like her very much. Oh, she's great. You trust me, you'll get used to her. She's if it's the smell thing, you'll get used to that. It's okay. Oh. I did. Okay. I'm used to your <laughs> smell too. So you Rhea, do have some pretty ripe ones, Phineas. I'm going to tell you. Oh, oh yes. Rhea yes, will yes. look over at Kamel for a moment, and then, uh, wouldn't climbing on top of the stable in broad daylight attract unwanted attention? Trina has a way to have oh. eyes averted from her. Who said anything about climbing? Aren't you going to throw me? Oh. This can't possibly end bad. <laughs> Maybe I will walk to another alleyway <laughs> and watch them. Okay. <laughs> but stay hidden. Well, I'm assuming Tarina's going to go up on top of the stable. Well, I can have her make a stealth check. That'd be cool. 22. Perfect. That's once pretty she, good. Once she gets up there, I'll throw Phineas to her. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics check, please. Yeah, that's uh, 21. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Do you need anything is, it, is this like a cannonball or like a shot putt or, or like fastball special? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Phineas ball special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, perfect. Hey, there oh. you are. Oh, is wonderful. It, this, is, this is particularly obvious. What's going on? Yeah, you yeah. maybe got about a, a couple seconds before somebody realizes there's people moving around on top of the stables. Uh, I'm going to take one of the alchemist fires and throw it into the other corner of the estate. There we go. Are you throwing this into the stable or outside? Not the into the, the estate. So off into the of grass the wall, outside the stable? Into, yeah, into the yard. Gotcha. Somewhere right. near a bush. It immediately ignites and begins spreading. Good. Uh, one of the patrolling uh, groups of guards has noticed this. I will also lay down. Okay. That's wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tarina can also lay flat against the roof, I've... which will prevent most people from being able to see you, except for anybody who's really up high, which, of course, there isn't anybody at this particular moment. The guards run over to the stable house. They start screaming and bellowing, and you see the other kind of uh, the other patrols run over and they start to put out the fire. And it's not working very well because alchemy fire does not necessarily go out as easily as you might expect. What's the roof made of? The roof is made out of 
red clay tiles. Uh, could I loosen or break some of them? You certainly could, or you could also have uh, Tarina do help you out as well, or you sure. could help Tarina. Ah, uh, whichever. The goal is to get through the roof. Okay, so give me an athletics check. I uh, you know what. I'll get her to make an athletics check with advantage because okay. you're, you're assisting. I'm Fair assuming enough. her stats are better than yours. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's are. <laughs> so that is a twelve, which will be enough. So you're able to pry a couple of roof tiles off. And it takes a while. It's very quiet. You're having to... Because you don't want to make too much noise. Because there sure. are a bunch of guards directly below you. Even sure. though there is a lot of scuffle. And they're able to pry off a fair number of the uh, of the tiles. A uh, blacksmith has made his way out of the stables. And is now attempting to also assist with putting out the fire. And so as the roof tiles are removed, you're able to see into the stables itself. Where did the blacksmith come from? The stables. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, so it is, uh, there are appear to be four draft horses and a fully equipped smithy with an anvil and a currently roaring hearth. Did he close the door behind him? No, because it's a fire. Great. I am going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use Vicious Mockery on one of the horses. That should definitely get them going. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to double check the wording in this one. <laughs> you look like a mule. No, it, it's <laughs> you. You smell like this owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> and is it? Uh, is it? Uh, does it have to understand what you're saying? In it order does to? not. I have ah, to see it, and it okay. has to be able to hear me. If you see it, and it has to be able to hear you. Yes. And, which... so, and you're not. You're not speaking horse here. You're just. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't say I need to. Nay aggressively. <laughs> and that's a wisdom save? Uh, it is a wisdom save, which okay. I'm going to... I mean, I'm just going to Yes, it it's going to fail. I'm just going to say it fails. I, I don't... Uh, and I did two damage. Giddy up. Does that kill the horse? I doubt it. I wouldn't that, that not think so. That <laughs> okay. I would, that's why I Horses wanted vicious are, mockery. They're not super durable, but they're not like... Yeah. They're not keel over. Uh, and obviously it immediately the begins to buck wildly and roar around, uh, causing some of the other guards to look in and the blacksmith to freak out, and they try desperately to rein the horns. I'll have him make an animal handling check. He's starting to get that. The other horse is settled, but the one you've psychically damaged, I'm going to say, is like far gone and is just untamable. Good. And so he's going to start trying to get it out of the stables and uh, get the guards over. Yes. To help them out. Uh, as as they're so they split now into one group trying to put out the fire and one group trying to deal with the horse. Yes. As they as they're doing that, I will look over to uh, Tarina is on the mm -hmm. roof with me, and say she's got a huge grin. Any suggestions? I'm going to keep doing it, and and I will do it to one of the other horses that they were okay. coming down. Same deal. Sounds good. Uh, three damage. Okay, it'll survive that. Great. Um, more of the guards are moving over in to try and help the horses. Um, and would you like to make a luck roll for me? Sure. Yeah. Start with a nine. Uh, yeah. And then oh. a three. Uh, yeah. So they are, main t they are having difficulty restraining the horses, but they are able to... They're keeping them within the yes. stables. They're not letting them escape yes. the, the actual stables. Uh, this is, however, causing a very obvious disturbance. The which... entire guard... Of outside and everybody else is now currently all dealing with the the. the, uh, the, the I'm stables. assuming they're hearing this. Oh, this is very very good. So, so yes. if they would like to do something while this is all happening, perhaps is that the signal? I, uh, think, I think we can make our way into the house now. I think so. Yes. Oh, walk right in. Yeah. Lead the way. I'll go in through the gate. Through the gates. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of peek around. See you hear it. a lot of shouting. Put the fire out! Damn you all! None of them are looking towards this. Like, 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 look so they're the on gate. the complete other side. You can't, you can't even see them. They're, you can hear Beautiful. them. Are we, are we on this side or that you're, side? You're, you're on the south side. Okay. Oh, okay. cool. All right. I'm going. Yeah. I'll you, go you right guys, to the back You guys door. are down in the main entrance here. Yeah. And they're way up in the uh, in okay. the stables on the other side of the mm -hmm. house. So they can't even. They're not even even in line of sight. I'll and I'll move right to the main entrance. Okay. I'll follow. Mm-hmm. 
There are uh, two very nicely, intricately carved front doors made out of wood with nice iron hinges and handles and knockers and things like that. I'll check the door. Is okay. It a, is it unlocked? Yes. <laughs> okay. You open up the door, and apart from the main entrance, this particular room has two exits. A plaster shelf lined with ornate vases circles the room at a height of nine feet. Spread across the flagstone floor is a ten-foot-wide, fifteen-foot-long rug of exquisite design, depicting a royal coronation. Two tapestries hanging on the walls depict a dragon flying over a ship and pilgrims on camels, respectively. Dad? No. <laughs> distraction, distraction, sorry. I thought it looked like my dad, I think. Uh, Do you know what your dad looks like? I want to make a perception. Stamp it out! My yeah. boot's on fire, you um, idiot! I'm going to... While you're doing that, go ahead and do your roll. I'm going to write a note that says, that's what you get for working with the dragon cultists. <laughs> Wrap it around a rock and just chuck it. While they're busy with the horses, just chuck it into the yard. Sort of not quite near, but a little bit in the vicinity of. Clo okay. Far enough close away enough that, that, that they'll find it, but far, far enough yeah. away that it won't immediately distract them, but close enough right. that they'll find it. Yeah. Gotcha. Perception was 15. 15? Yeah, just anything uh, anything out of or out of the ordinary, any kind of... Um, lots of valuables. Everything in this room is probably worth more than you've ever made in your entire life. Take it and run! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, are the, kill there, are, the, there are the two doors, but give me yeah. a sec. What's your passive perception? 12. 15. 10. And you rolled a. You rolled a what? A fifteen on my perception. A fifteen. So you have a fifteen total. Yeah. One of the vases moves slightly. <laughs> I'm gonna point at it. Did you see that? No. Yes. I'll detect. There are four illusion pockets mixed in within the within the vases. Like a secret door. Well, uh, they're about the, they're about this big. You illusion know. pockets? Little 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 things that little oh, yeah. bits of illusion magic. Yeah. Oh, I have hanging, blindsight hanging now. Out. Yeah, that's fine. You're standing in the doorway. All oh, right. Yeah. But he would be able to see invisible things. Correct. Well, yeah. yes. Only very close to him. Only if they're yeah. within ten feet of him. I'm going to walk into the middle of the room. You are attacked. Bring it on. <laughs> but it is not a surprise because you immediately sense four things coming right for you. Yeah. There we go. Now, before we cut to that, what is the plan of Phineas and Tarina on the roof of the stables? So, my plan is somewhere between lay there and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, they will sort it out and get moving. And yeah, go, yeah, and, uh, get you and escape if... Uh, like, I don't necessarily want to leave. So ideally, I just want to stay where I am. Okay. Because I figure I've caused enough. The only thing is probably replace some of the roof tiles. If we can Start confidently to to do that without dropping any in. I will have a... So my question then is, are you proficient with masonry tools? Uh... I his his, am... his ancient uncle Foley is. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I took the brewer's supply instead. Gotcha. So in which so case, it will be a roll. with the beer. It is possible, but you won't be able to add your proficiency to it. Yeah. Uh, I may not bother then. Like, we only needed to open a big enough hole for me to see in. Yes. So it's not like there's a giant gap in the room. I'm going to say you probably pulled away, like, two tiles. Yeah, two or three tiles. I think we'll just leave them. Okay, uh, and and I'll just sort of chill. Okay, you're gonna stay. You're gonna remain there, and I will do my very best not to fall asleep. Don't for worry, the moment. <laughs> there'll be another distraction soon. I I'm <laughs> assuming at some point they'll have something better to do. Yes. All right. Well, let's get some initiative going then. We might as well start by splitting the party. I will roll so into initiative, but yeah, just in case you want to do something. Just in case something comes up. I'll uh, I'll roll Tarina in as well then. Sure. All right. So we're going to start with... What would you get, Phineas? Uh, I got a five. 
and I have no modifier for that. Okay. Clue rock. Ten. Camille? Eighteen. And marmalade? Twelve. Okay. And also, real quick, to answer your question, Evil Bill, uh, this is from, I forgot to wear this last week, but this is from when I sold my ear to Beatus. <laughs> what a sentence that is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ray, I got a 21. Damn. And uh, Tarina, oh, she's got a 21. Damn. Oh, jeez. It's because I rolled really well. All right. Well, Rhea cannot see what is happening and is technically not even necessarily aware. So is basically just going to be moving in carefully and slowly. Um, Kamel, you did notice that little jostle, um, but so far you're not aware of anything else going on. Klurok has entered into the room. I'm still sensing. You can sense them moving directly towards Klurok. <sighs> you can see the, the illusion moving, moving towards him. I'll... Not loudly scream, but I'll say to Clue Rock, um, Unseen enemies ahead. And I guess I can make a disadvantage swing on one of them, right? You can. So I'll move to try and intercept Clue Rock. Oh. <laughs> I'm three! Looks like I hit you. <laughs> now let's see if I hit you. Pair of sevens. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen hits? Oh. Yes, it does. Well then. Enjoy. Eleven. Fifteen. As I take my hammer, swing blindly into an area that I feel with my combat skills with so the trajectory. It connects and there's a... <laughs> ah, yes. An imp. But it does not, it, it remains invisible. Uh. Um, dead? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not good. Yeah, they're tougher than. Mm. Okay, that would be my turn. Alright. Well, Clurok. Yeah. You're about to have a bad time. Probably. A, uh. 21 will hit you, yes? Yep. Okay, you're going to take five piercing damage as a red-skinned winged creature appears Whoa. out of nowhere and stabs you with its tail. <laughs> and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 18. You take five poison damage. Fuck. You're then hit with a critical uh, uh, yep. for ten piercing, and please make a constitution saving throw. Down glows, Uh, 30 20. 30 20? You take 10 poison damage. Jesus. Uh, does a 19 hit you, armor class? Not yet. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So the, the, the stinger comes directly for you, and you're, you're already dealing with two, and you kind of just convulses <laughs> and <laughs> whistles over your head. Yeah. The one that, hit, that you hit, though, is going to turn its attention to you. <laughs> Lord. Uh, with a 22 to hit. It does. All right. You are stabbed in the side of the neck with a stinger, dealing five piercing, and you need to make a con save. Constitution save. Uh, 12. You take five poison damage. So I took, sorry, how much did I take stinging on? A total, you took 10. <laughs> All right. That takes us now to Marmalade. Marmalade. One wonders why Woo. they had the guards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so how's this Clue Rock look? Internal security. Clue Rock is fucking hurt. <laughs> it looks injured. Okay. So, <laughs> as, so is Clue Rock standing up? or is He's he standing in the center of the room. Okay. Well, um, Marmalade is going to pull the dagger and then drop <laughs> down. <laughs> this is such a tiny little dagger. <laughs> 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 gonna drop down and start like crawling Arm over crawling yes okay. to clue rock <laughs> and then reach out and touch his foot and be like it's okay you'll do better next uh, time and uh, i'm gonna cast cure wounds on you and you're going to get back uh nine points cool 
<laughs> half the just... last round of damage. Half the last in fourth of damage. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's, well, that's true. <laughs> hmm. I I missed when imps were actually a threat. And <laughs> Temple just dropped one for Clearock and one for Kamel. Thank hey. you, Temple. Thank you, They're doing Temple. fine. Thank you, Temple. Clearock. Oh. That means I get it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I can see these things now. Yes, they're no longer invisible. <laughs> they're red. They're horned. They're winged. They look a lot like Beatezu or Beatus, except not uh, not nearly well dressed. Bonus action. Intruders, Rage. die! You're about to die. Rage. <laughs> that is a 16 to hit. That'll hit. Ooh. That is uh, 16 damage. I throw my sword up in the air, catch it with my hand, and just swing it right around, right at the M. Okay. One of them for 16 damage. Yeah, okay, 16. Okay. You cleave into its side as it little molten fire kind of pours out of the side of it, dripping and sizzling to the ground. <laughs> Good. Where the hell did you get that thing? From your uncle. <laughs> okay, and uh, that will be the end. There we have Phineas. Uh yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be able to hear any of this or nope. know what's going on. I'm just going to continue waiting. Trina just grins at you. Yeah, we're we're having like I a like moment. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rhea is going to run oh, up. Uh, oh, Rhea is okay. Because I was going to say I, I might try to send some sort of signal to Rhea, but she's already Rhea is already in yeah, there. Okay. She's she's seen imps. She's on a cool. bloodlusted. Gary on she's kill, she's come visible. Now. Devil. They are visible. She's going to run up with her long sword and swing. Uh, the imp will somersault out of the way, and she will come in with a back to uh, get it in the side. For seven slashing damage, and that will slice open the one that uh, you had hit previously. And seeing that that has gone, she'll then reach down with her left, draw out a short sword, and try to stab in the other side at the one that uh, Kamal has damaged, stabbing it to death as awesome. it will explode now. into a fiery burst of smoke Good. and ash. Good. <laughs> Kamal. I'll uh, spin around and rotate in front of. Another one that's attacking him to get advantage mm -hmm. and attempt to kill it. Okay. And I will swing at it with advantage. That will hit. Well, and if we ever needed proof that they're devil worshippers, I think we've got it. I'll discharge <laughs> both. I'll use a bonus action to discharge both of the charges I have in my hammer All right. into it in the attempts to kill it. Uh, 9, 10, 15, 19 damage. Yeah, that'll Sorry, probably do it. Yeah, yeah 19 damage. <laughs> Stealing Blood a charge. Blood red mist back. is all that is remaining of that imp. As your hammer just just cuts through the through the air, not even stopping. Well done! There is one <laughs> left. It is its turn. Yeah, it goes invisible. It. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Nice try. And uh, <laughs> goes out of your range of vision. Okay. Uh, did I see? Did I catch which direction it went? Yes, it went into... Uh, it seemed like it was uh, flying out the door, actually. The front door? Yes. That's not good. Did it make it? Yes, it did. Shit. Don't we get a tax opportunity? Oh, yeah. Well, it's invisible. Wow. Well, uh, if hello. you can see it, um, you should get one. Yeah, I think you can. Okay. You can go ahead and make it. And would I have advantage seeing as Camaro? No, right you always have disadvantage because it's invisible. Oh. Yeah. That's fair. I blindsight, though. At the very least, I don't uh, think you would get advantage. You don't get advantage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's 16. Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, 14 damage. And again, I'll just... Ah! Little as bits it, of... As it's flying, I'll make it look like I can't see it, and then just rise my sword up and... And hit the chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> Four times. You should put a counter for her. Don't be she hits yeah. things with that sword. Right. <laughs> All right. It did, however, survive that attack and has yeah. flown out the door. <laughs> uh, marmalade. Ah! Ah! 
I'm gonna get up, go over to the door, close it, and then bar it with something. I'll put I'll I'll pull a table or something in okay. the way. Yeah, well, I imagine it would have a bar or something. That does have a lock. Oh, it does have. Yeah. Well, no, I don't want to just lock it. I want to obstruct it as well, so they can't okay. come in that way. After after it flew out. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> It's going to go around and get them. I was going to adrenaline rush and kill it. No, I can't oh. do that. <laughs> well, but you can't I, see it anyway. So The amount of time that's going to take, you could you could intercede. She's going to have to like walk up, close the door, grab something. Yeah. Like, like, that's a fair no, bit I'm going to run out. My detect mana is still gone because yep. I haven't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will say then that uh, you can ready your action. Okay. That we start. Start your start doing. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not very strong, so it's going to take me a while to move something. Yeah, that's fair enough. Clue rock. Yeah, I'll I'll go right to the door where it ran. Do I see it? If I, if I go out the door. No, oh, God, no, no. Yeah, Fuck, it's probably in the air. Right? It's it's quick. Yeah. He'll be able to when he gets out there. Okay, he'll yeah, be I'll, able to detect the the invisibility. I'll begin. I'll I'll wait to help Marmalade with her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Phineas, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yes, I'm, I've am i got my little uh, <laughs> spy glasses, and I'm <laughs> surveying the area. <laughs> That's all. Okay. <laughs> Rhea will jump in to assist, because she's not really sure what else to do at this point. Kamail, you are bolting. Yeah, well, I'll just run out the door. It is about 10 feet in the air over there to your, uh, to your right. So uh, continuing my movement, I'll go under it. And I will improvise, throw my hammer out to try and Sounds good. It. So you'll be making a uh, weapon attack without your proficiency bonus. Uh, at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Uh, a 13. That hits. Oh. <laughs> you should almost be dead, too. This will be, uh, so if you're throwing it, it's a d4. Four oh, I don't get normal hammer hits? Improvised weapon. You can add your strength to it. That's fine. Eight. That kills it. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I'll, the, I'll just How catch the hammer, you? catch his body. Feet. Sorry, go ahead. I'll catch his body, catch the hammer, and just slink back into the room. And then the doors are closed. Yes. And then I <laughs> chop the body on the ground. Would I have had any chance of seeing that? No, it's on the other side. Okay, great. I was going to have to roll. I was going to roll a luck roll to see if I thought I was that say, was a it, signal. It is glowing. <laughs> ten, ten feet he just jumps down. That's still not going to be enough. It's like throwing a lightsaber. <laughs> it's still not going to be enough. There's an entire house in the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, two-story house. Honestly, you don't want me because I would have been like, oh, it's the signal. And I would have ran in. So, <laughs> All right. So you all get in there. You've closed the door and you are barring it still? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll like wedge something in between. Is there like door handles in the back of the door? Yes. I'll wedge something in there. You notice that the door to the uh, west opens slightly. You see like an eye peeking and then immediately the door closes shut. Shit. Well, I mean, we were fighting, so yeah. Yeah. Where the... Where the... <sighs> that would be... I'll give you... That s- door? The other one. The other one? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you like a round to react to that. And he's the only one that caught that? He's got the 15 press of perception. Right. right. Um. You're looking through the windows of the house. So as soon as you can see something, I'll let you know. So Fair enough. So the eyeball, does it look like a you peasant? S- it's hard to say. Like, like a servant? Yeah, you, you would assume so. So I will say, in a very factual tone, um... If you, if you scream or do anything, I will smash through that door and crush your head like a grape. How loud are you speaking that? Enough so that the person behind the door can hear. Okay. Not loud enough to echo the whole house. Sounds good. I'll even go out to the door and grab the door and say, Okay. Or you can live and make a lot of money. The door slowly opens back up again. <laughs> a 75-year-old man in a very fine attire is standing there. He looks a little nervous. You can see he's been sweating a little bit. Welcome to the Thalamro Estate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, insight? Uh, Stare well, at While this is happening, uh, there is one other thing that I'm going to do. Yes, sir. Is I'm going to uh, listen intently for Dorn. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe he's here because I never believed that he was in trouble, but I'm going to like... Make a perception check. Uh, well, let, let him do his thing yeah. first. Uh, 25. 
Since you've seen him, and as far as he knows, you're armed bandits, he is attempting to preserve his life. I see. By cooperating. Good. Cool. I am ah. Fendrick Gray, the humble butler of this estate, and you, of course, are honored guests, as he, his hand, like, shakily, as he bows, sweat pouring off of his forehead onto the ground. Do you know that this place will no longer exist soon? Perhaps I shall find new employment. That sounds wise. Not exist? Not exist? What? Is the body of the one imp still on the ground? That yes. Came out? I'm going to pick it up and walk Oops. towards this guy. Be like, oh, I think he missed dinner. Uh, Ambra, perhaps we should uh, fetch uh, Gaburi and no longer be within these halls. I step into the other room to take a look. You see a young woman, probably maybe 19, dressed in a maid outfit, who is uh, holding a duster and looks quite aghast. Well, don't just stand there, girl. Go and fetch him. And she kind of looks over at you and looks over at the door. Don't make a move. I want her to get my attention. Or I'm going to get her attention. And the second she looks at me... I crushed the imp's head. <laughs> yeah, she faints. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to catch her. You run up and yeah. catch her. I'll put her on a couch or something. Okay. Well, there, so this room that you're in oh. appears to be a gallery. Uh, black curtains are drawn over the windows to the south, keeping the hall quite dark and very cool. Um, there is a wooden staircase at the north end, which climbs up. And then there's an eclectic collection of tapestries, paintings, and alabaster busts on pedestals. Um, as you uh, catch her and turn back around, you see that standing behind the door is an old woman in a uh, long, Im immaculate green dress stroking a cat. She's just staring at me? She's just standing there behind the door, not moving. What was the name of the person she said? He said the he, No, he said uh, he said he, he was talking to Ambra, who is go, likely go, the main. Go get, go oh go get uh, Gaburi. Gaburi. Gaburi is the estate's chef, rather unpleasant man. He will not uh, understand the arrangement that we are coming to, and I uh, would have been better if one of the staff had fetched him, but I can do that. No, no, look at the, the lady with the green. Oh, yes, this is the very nice wax sculpture of Thalamra Van Thamper. <sighs> I got a 19 on the perception, by the way. You can just kind of hear what you think to be Dorn. Don't worry. My uncle will come and fetch me. We'll be out of here soon. I start, like, visibly vibrating <laughs> on the... And, and I'll, I'll whisper... Uh, and and I'll do my best to actually whisper. Uh, that's not terrible. It's, it's <laughs> I so, think I hear him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, well, I mean, it's not really a cell. It's more because my I know my hearing is gone. Uh, it's it's really just like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's it's quieter. above ten. I I think that's I think probably that's fair if you do. Um, and uh, and I'll just whisper over to uh, Tarina. Tarina, who's on the roof with me and I'll yep. say oh hey I, I think Dawn is here have you do you know Dawn would you like to see a picture <laughs> and I'll pull out the little pocket watch with the picture of Dawn and show it to her let's go get him let's go we we'll need to relieve ourselves of this position I'll take you back down the side and maybe we'll circle around oh oh wonderful wonderful I'm gonna have her make a stealth check oh that's not good Oh, you better use some of your inspiration then, Game Master. Uh, <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Well, uh, <laughs> given that I'm involved in this, I will I allow mine? you to use yours. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. She, she rolled Find a... Find what the um, number is first. She rolled a nine. Uh, so oh. Nine total. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. This needs to succeed, honestly. Uh, we'll bump it by three, and I think I'll throw another one in, and this time I'm going to roll a six. <laughs> Fine. Close. close enough. So eight more. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not going to roll six. <laughs> so close. 
predictions by Adrian. So she, she grabs you around to, she, as a bugbear, she has long, gangly arms, and she's able to yeah. wrap around you completely with one arm and slowly scale down the side and creep around the back and uh, <laughs> scale up over the side and go in where you can see the front door, which is currently barred and not opening. Um, so instead, she takes you around to the north, uh, kind of peeking around where you can see them. It scales up to the balcony. Uh, Temple has awarded you a point of inspiration because you're being too fair. <laughs> Are you kidding? I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take it. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Temple. So they came in so where? They're coming in through the north side uh, oh, of the here. building. Yeah. So we're going to meet in that yes. hall then. Okay. As they take you in through the, kind of looking over at the guards, uh, makes a, a second stealth check, rolls much better this time, <laughs> and <laughs> makes your way into the north door, slowly closing it, whipping around and seeing the entire scene that's currently unfolding. Second I see them walk in, I'm going to yes. go right to that door and do the same <laughs> thing I did to the other and bar it through the... Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to walk over. You're in the hallway? Yeah, I just barred the door you came in. I'll, I'll walk over to you and say, Dawn is here. Oh, where is he? Dawn is here. Oh. He's, he's here. Can you hear him? Where, where? Which way do we go? Oh, you don't can know you that. Hear him? No, yeah. I oh, here, here's the problem. I because know, but because he's here. Because of the fact he can just always hear Dorn. Regardless, it's always yeah. the same. It's always yeah. the same volume and as if it's coming from Everywhere, right next yeah. to him. So there's really no way for him to follow it. <laughs> Thank well, you, Bill. Well, well done on the distraction, Phineas and Tarina. That was... Perfect. Oh, it it was it quite was fun, actually. Yes, I old, rather enjoyed it. Old it was man. wonderful. Aye, uh, sir. Help us navigate this mansion and you'll own it. Well, I don't know about that. But, um... Damn. <coughs> you know, I, um... Could perhaps start oh. an investment fund towards oh. owning the land. I get... I'll, I'll pull out some money and give it to him. I know this dance. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yes, um... Very good, sir. I'll give him, I don't know, five gold to start? Would you, uh, that should be. I think that's enough of a, we're not going to kill you, we'll pay you. This yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll get a nice, agra- a nice agra- agra- arrangement going. Well, I mean, then. We do have dragon cult loot. <laughs> Where is it that you would like to be going? Where did they bring their guests? Oh, the guests are usually met in the parlor. No, I mean the other guests. She, ah, she means in the, the tower, th- yes. The guests. In, in the, the tower. tower. Yes. Okay. We're, okay, I guess take us to the, the tower? Very well. And he gestures towards the wooden staircase in the north that leads up to the second floor. Okay. Oh, man. L- I think lead you on? can lead the way. Well, of course. Help Wait. us and the rewards keep coming. What about, Bet- the, what about the girl? Betray us. And I'll just lightly drop my hammer on top of the wax sculpture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I understand, sirs. Lead he leads the you way. Up, he leads you up to the stairs and begins to ascend into the upstairs hall. Lanterns hang from the rafters. It is rather drafty. Um, it's not as comfortable as it was downstairs. Um, but he will uh, kind of peek and then back back down. You see, here's the problem. The upstairs is always guarded. By what? Very well-paid men. They will not move from their designation without a proper authority. And while I am allowed to roam freely myself as a member of the staff, I do not have the authority required to permit guests to the second floor. You will require Van Thamper herself to do that. Or one of her sons. Phineas, you still have that ring? Uh, no. I'm no, sure, I, I'm, I'm I, sure that'll work. I, I, I gave it to the man, to the nice man. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't yes, you? He took um, it, but he owes me a favor. Yes, that he does. What, what about the girl? The girl that fainted? She's not a vampire. Amber, Amber no, Fullwater is the current maid. She yeah. was brought on to replace the old one after she had a tragic accident. What kind of tragic accident? She fell down the stairs. Mm. I'm yeah. sure she did. Um, is there a closet around? There is a pantry. Is there a door handle inside the pantry? 
Actually, it doesn't matter. Clue Rock, can you put her inside the pantry <laughs> and just bar the door so she doesn't, like, create issues? Well, you'll need to go through the kitchen, and old Gumbury will not take kindly. Let, well, me, let you, me talk to him Okay, first. we'll tell him to go to the pantry, too, I guess. In the meanwhile, could you lend us a little bit of that healing? Oh, but Maybe okay. you. Oh. Sure, of course. <laughs> Kaluak and Wait. I could use a little touch up before we engage into the next combat. I will drop a healing, a cure wounds into you, and I also give you uh, the healing potion that I have since I oh, frankly I don't them. really need one. You say that now. You should keep it just because if we all have one, we can use it to daisy chain each other. Uh, true, but if I'm up, I can use healing on myself. Uh, okay. Okay. Like it's it's better for you guys to ha- realistically from a meta perspective. Probably it's best to have you have it then. Like, uh, should I? Have well, it? we all have one from last session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we I, picked yeah, up a bunch. Yeah. So somebody should just grab another one from me. Anyone, it doesn't matter. All right. But like, I, he's going I'm, down before I do, so I'll get on. Uh, and I'll drop eight into you. Thank you. Uh, I will also. I'm just poking around and 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 I pull something off the wall and oh. I found another. It's from Richter. And and we get another coin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so Fendrick opens the door to the kitchen and you he leaves the door open. And you hear a brief conversation between him and a, what sounds like a uh, yep. middle-aged woman. And uh, you see the woman dressed in chef's apron kind of peer out and then lean back in and you hear some more hushed whisper. Um, you are free to move through the kitchen now. Just if we could ask for you to keep your hands away from the various uh, accoutrements. Okay. Um. Gaburi appreciates the kitchen and would prefer it to stay in intact condition, of course, which means we will allow you free movement because we will know what happens if we do not. <laughs> the wax yeah. just drops off the hammer. Can you <laughs> add that <laughs> coin? Yes, I can yeah. add your coin. I'm going to fix it so I can add coins for next week, but... Gaburi, could we politely ask you to go into the pantry with um, the young miss, just so you're out of harm's way the entire time that we're here? Please? So a very pleasant smell emanates throughout this room. It appears she was in the process of baking something. Pots, pans, and cooking utensils dangle above three wooden preparation tables in the middle of the room. The shelves are lined with bowls, platters, herbs, spices, and dried goods. Uh, there is a dumb waiter with a manually operated rope and pulley system. Um, on the one side, mm-hmm. and a tiny bell near it, uh, which would you assume hooks up to the second floor. There is also a cat with feathered wings <gasps> walking around here. Interesting. It has a dead mouse currently dangling in its jo- in its chops. Okay, so this is an actual cat. Yeah. With it's wings. an actual cat with okay. wings. That's about the only cat I would ever have as a pet. It's so cool. It's a big fluffy one with wings. And just wings. A yeah. winged cat. <laughs> not a sphinx. The dumb wing. No, it's not a sphinx. Does it go down? It is currently down. It goes up. So I could use it to go to the basement, theoretically. No, you could use it to go to the second floor. It's on this floor, so yes. it doesn't go down. It goes, it goes up. Yeah. This would be if someone was in the room and they jingle. Understood. And That's why I asked if it went down. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was... Okay. Um, hmm. You could do reconnaissance from it on a second Gaburi, floor. <laughs> Gaburi takes yep. Ambra and moves down over to the pantry, opens it up. It's it's a pantry. There's food and drink, and it's kind of musty. Goes in there and closes the door. It's not like they're going to starve, so thank you. I appreciate it. What's the disposition of the cat? Does it care that we're here? Doesn't seem to. Okay. It looks grumpy in the picture. It, wow, I mean, it's, it's a cat. A cat. <laughs> Not all cats look grumpy. And I, and I say that as a person who loves cat. It's yeah, a cat. me too. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> hey, we have a cat that looks like an anime cat, so. Uh, okay. I... Good, Good, sir. Um, I wonder if you might know this, this tower. Uh, how tall is it? I didn't see from the outside. It's three stories tall, sir. Oh. Or two stories from the second floor, I guess. I see. And the, and you believe they're up there? That tends to be where they are kept. Uh, I am tasked with feeding them. 
I am going to walk over to the stairs, not go up them, mm -hmm. and just listen for Dorn. You can hear Dorn, but again, you have no idea which direction or where it's coming from. I hear Dorn. I just had a thought about you hearing Dorn all the time. Not good. What's he talking about? <laughs> out of curiosity. Mostly he about how useful? his uncle will get him out of here. Well, it's, Please stop it's crying, nice. Rowan. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, Rowan. I Rowan can't is... believe they took my loot. Rowan is... When I find oh. them, I shall strangle them solid. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Rowan is here, too. Oh, good. It wasn't They're together. Fly. At least they are alive. For some reason, I can hear him. Hmm. Well, you did say you always wanted to be able to hear him no matter what. Do you kitchen. think if I don't get this healed in time, it'll make a cool scar? They're in the kitchen, right? Currently, so, everyone's in the kitchen. I'm not. Oh, okay. I I'm was... not. I'm at the door of the kitchen. I'm yep. going to go to the other door into another room and just look in quickly to make sure it's clear. Sure. It appears to be an undecorated room with four single beds and a dining table. Looks like this is where the servants stay. There are some various outfits for servants and things uh, in a closet. Well, I won't be able to be. <laughs> you and I won't be able to do it. No. Fair enough. All right. I think We're time for to the have tower. To we're going to have to go weapons of blazing. Or at least we attempt to take those gods down quickly. Either way, this is not a quiet weapon. Do we Maybe. want... Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. Do we want... Do, uh, oh, Shush. hello. Uh, I will slowly attempt to... Pet the Animal cat. handling. Sure. Oh, God. This is how serious dies. I just need to check my <laughs> skill on that. This this is the death of How did Phineas die? A cat mauled him. Because <laughs> I'm good at animal. I'm proficient in it. Can I assist him with it? Oh, yes, you can. can. I will assist you. 22. Well, that's good. Okay. It allows you to pet it and kind of rubs its face into your hand. Oh, good kitty. Well done. And... and where is my nephew Dorn? Oh? Oh. Doesn't seem to know what you mean. Show her, show Fair her enough. Picture, old man. Didn't seem like it didn't understand at all. Correct. Comprehend languages. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, I will speak a, a series of gibberish. And by the end of it, I will have gone through enough gibberish that the cat will make sense. Okay. Goopity, loopity glop. Goop, gibbity doo goo, boop doo. But it has to be in baby voice. It's nice to have someone who can actually speak to me and understand. It is so dreadful. All I have to do is listen to the incessant whinings of those weird Van Thamper people, and they don't really appreciate me. Plus, those imps are horrid. They are. Ah, yes, I have a similar problem. Um, I, I wonder, uh, there are two of our friends that are being held here. Do you know anything about are them? Are they the two friends in the tower? Uh, perhaps uh, one of them is, he had a, he had a, a lute on him. It's, it has strings, you know strings, and uh, he would play it, but he wouldn't now because they took it. I'm, I'm not sure. Could you, by any chance, go and look? Are you allowed to mow Rome free? Of course, I am the family pet. What? What? Uh, what would you, if if I were to offer you something to take a look? Food. Uh, what do you like to eat? Mice. Oh. <laughs> Stereotypical. Mm. <laughs> what about rat? Rats are also good. <laughs> I was. And gonna whatever. Say. <laughs> and whatever Gaburi drops off the counter. Oh, I'll uh, give it that rat that I is there? Off is, of. There's some food <laughs> stuff kind of. I'll, like I'll just take some food and put it in a dish. There is a dish with a embroidered, probably made out of what appears to be gold and platinum embroidered with the name Slobber Chops. <laughs> Love that name. That's the best thing. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll serve a dish for him and and just if if I could trouble you to find out what is happening with Dawn, that would be that would be lovely. Without any grace at all, the cat just. Assaults the food in the dish. I, I can I can give you more later. Starts purring and rubbing around your legs. Oh, oh you're you're such a wonderful. Could you could you take a look in the tower? Oh yes. Oh, thank you. 
and just kind of flies around. I, I've been speaking to the cat. This whole time, he's just been going. <laughs> I do hope you don't start coughing up fur balls. While they're doing that, I'm going to go through the chamber and to the other doors that I see and open them up. Take a okay. Look. One leads into a dining room with an iron wrought chandelier hanging above a black oak dining table, surrounded mm. by eight high back chairs carved to look like devils. A fireplace dominates one wall flanked by red curtain windows, and a handsome glass doored wine cabinet stands against one wall. There appears to be a uh, rope and pulley mechanism to lower and raise the chandelier. It was just tied around a hook mounted on the east wall near the wine cabinet. Mm. Lots of interesting things like expensive drinks and various other things used for impressing guests and for dinner parties appears to be in this chamber. Um. What about... You should start taking the stuff. Which stuff are you taking? A couple of like, smaller, more expensive. Just opening bottles. the wine cabinet. No. Well, that. Oh, you're just grabbing random stuff like whatever, whatever. Whatever I can grab. Yeah. Just... Well, the cabinet contains a set of eight red crystal goblets, sixteen bottles of wine, fifteen and uh, fifteen of them appearing to be very fine bottle, uh, very fine wine. No. Opening that cabinet's bad. I was gonna say he really wants you to open the cabinet. That's well, that's where the wine is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not wasting another. I only got one more man of sense. I'm not wasting it on wine. <laughs> Besides, I'm lawful. I'm stealing is wrong. But breaking and entering is fine. It's an evil mansion. <laughs> <laughs> what they're doing is evil. Yeah, that's fine. You are attacked three times. Ah, uh, the oh. imps. And I'm going to not roll well at all, apparently. Good. That's fine by me. Well done. I'm going to move this. So should we be doing initiative then? In just a sec. Okay. Uh, right. You somewhere. are going to be stabbed for... Am I? Well, a 13 will miss. Yes. That will hit. What will it hit? 24. Yeah. And then a 16? Nope. Okay, so you are going to be hit once as all of a sudden just three more imps appear stabbing directly at you. Uh, you are able to just... Ma your armor is able to deflect two of their stingers, but one does manage to get you between the plates. And you will take five piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, failed. You will take ten poison damage. Okay. And that's initiative. Mm. Well, I rolled a one. All right, that's a great start. Natural 20 on my initiative. So what's your total? 19. <laughs> what a waste of a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been good to use it on their skulls. Okay. Oh, that's not good. And then When he says, oh, that's not good, I can never tell if he means for us or him. Uh, it's for Torino. Oh. Phineas. Oh, you got a one. I okay. was going to say, I Clue doubt rock. it. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Nineteen. Yeah, I got you. And Marmalade? Twenty-one. You're first, then. Oh, my. Cool. Um, um, You're back in the kitchen. Yeah, so I, I'm assuming this is the That's kitchen That's the kitchen here. there. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I've been assaulted. <laughs> they don't know anything about Just it Just so yet. you're aware, we ha have a map now, so when we're talking about spaces, this is what we're talking about. Yes, and at some point, we'll probably even put in a camera for that. Yep. But just for reference. Yeah. Um, the beanbag. Well, why don't we just trade them around? I mean, I'm keeping yeah. mine because I'm. I thought I had yeah, the probably. one and two already. Oh yeah, they're in here. Oh, you you're gonna take all of them? Okay. Yeah, I'll just take them. Thank you, Beetle and Grim, for ah! giving us some rolling niche. It's a great product. Fail. They're highly durable, which is good. Yes. <laughs> well, they're intended to be whipped at people that you're mad at. That too. <laughs> um. So, um, I don't think from where I am, I'd probably be... I'd say you're probably not aware. ...aware of what's going on, so... You'll hear a thud in a second. Yeah, I was going to say, it's Kamel's next, so you will be aware yeah, very Yeah, so I, at this point, I think what my plan was originally was to talk... What, what, sorry, what's the butler's name? The butler's name is uh, Fendrick Gray. Fendrick Gray, okay. So I was going to ask Fendrick, can... Would you mind maybe drawing a layout of the upstairs and telling us where the the guards are usually patrolling and stuff, just so yeah, we know a layout? And I suppose. Blah, blah, blah. That's that's my turn. <coughs> oh, this cough of mine seems to be. Well, on my turn, I will yeah, give yeah. him some more money. Yeah. 
All right, Kamel. There are three imps. <laughs> Clurock. They're funny looking. Uh, that one's getting killed. <laughs> uh, I don't want to roll this. Oh, it's a 19. So yes, I'll hit it. You remind me of the grandmother I killed. I will mana devour it. It is a creature of magic. It is. You're a creature of magic. Seven. Roll those. So that would be 10, 14, 18. 18. <laughs> Dead? Yep. Nice. He's, he's using his relic stuff. Fair enough. Nice. Well done. Because the Renick weapon, I believe, does not count as a magical weapon just yet, but that your is, that is correct. Your stuff does. Uh, that was Mana Devour. Oh, I see. Is that why they were taking so much damage? <laughs> they are devils. It's fair. Uh, yes, that is... I believe that's all I can do. Yep. Because I use my bonus actions. And how loud are you about this? Uh, well, the thud, I'm sure, is quite, <laughs> quite the baseball here. All right. I think Rhea is likely going to hear that. She will run out through the kitchen and just get into the door. Now, did you move into the room at all, or did you mostly I stay in the door? Yeah, I think so. You said you were going to loot, and then you kind of decided you weren't going to loot. Were you just kind of looking around? Yeah, the I'm in the room looking around. Okay. She'll get to the doorway, and uh, she'll see you dealing with two imps. Now, she can't run up without uh, spending the rest of her turn. So she'll just grab heavy crossbow and fire that off towards one of the imps. But unfortunately, she's not very good at the heavy crossbow, so it's just going to go thunk. <laughs> she's more of a swordsman. And she will also lean back. More devils! Not not loudly, <laughs> just like... Yeah, if anyone's wondering, the reason we're not actually whispering is because it sucks for audio. Correct. So. Yeah. Uh, that being said, you are now, she is in the main hallway, so you're going to want to be, and the door is open, so you're going to want to be careful about too much noise. It is the imp's turn. They go invisible. Uh, Clue Rock. Hearing this, I won't even be able to get in the door. <laughs> hmm. Just because they're blocking it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's a double door. Oh. So Rhea's only in the way of one side of it. You can move through. You can also move past her anyway. I'll walk into the room. Do I see them? You can just see Kamel kind of... Looking around, do I see where they went? Uh, Not with 10 feet, no. Because you're at the doorway. How much How much movement would that have been? Probably all. Depending on where you were in the kitchen. Likely it was 30 feet. Yeah. Hmm. And you, can, and you can only see... Just the area around the yeah, doorway. Just hold yours. I'll okay. hold my attack. <sighs> okay. And, uh, Tarina uh, will bonus also... Bonus action, I'm going to rage because uh, if I don't, I'm going to... Yeah, get sure. Tarina that. will also make her way over, uh, getting out her You're morning red, star. Right? Okay. And Phineas. I'm... Right, because you already went. Uh, the cat so... will climb up on your shoulders. I thought he left. Oh, no, the cat left. Yeah, cat left. Yeah, say, yeah, right. Cat left. left. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was obviously distracting me, which is why I'm last in initiative. Um, but I, <laughs> I wouldn't hear any of that, but I would have noticed him leaving yes. in, our house, in our house. Well, you would have noticed most of the party leaving. Yeah, yeah. so I'll, I'll go and make my way to the doors. I don't need to be in the room. I just need to be able to see in the room. Okay. Um, and technically, I don't even need to be see. Uh, I'm going to use... Mm, has to be a creature of my choice. What would your ruling be on this? What are you trying to do? I was going to use dissonant whispers on one of the imps. As far as I know, it just has to be able to hear you. It does. As long as you know it exists. Yeah, that's the question. Would I actually know that it exists? I know that there's... Well, I, I think it's devils. fair enough for you to know that there's okay. something here. I, I saw I, a dead imp that. on the floor. Yeah. I'd allow it. Oh, that's a good That's point. true. Yeah, okay. I would allow it. Yeah, good call. Okay, or, then, or remnants of a dead yeah. imp. Yeah, and didn't someone say more imps, Rhea too? Said so, that was yeah. Rhea said more devils. Yeah, okay. Yes. So I will... I will read from my book of, of Foley, which is actually down here, and I'm not going to bother getting it. And when one wants to uh, befriend the dragon, you must rub its paw in counterclockwise and and then feed it a branch. And that's my <laughs> dissonant whispers to the to the imp. Is that, that, you is, or is that a wisdom? In my mouth? Wisdom twelve. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Wisdom 12? I'd have to drop two in. I, I think I will let it have that. Okay. That seems... Yeah, it beat me by a bunch. It's a devil. Yeah, no, I was... I mean, that's good to know. They are not stupid. So... Uh, okay, that takes us back up to Marmalade. Um, so there's two people standing in the doorway right now, right? Rhea and Clurok. Yeah. Um, you can move past them. I don't want to, though. I'm just saying. If I'll you just, want to. I'll just stand behind them. them and be, like, bobbing around no, trying to see into the room. Past me. What? Maybe you do want to move past me. Clurok. What? Yeah, yeah, she is. Um, but I will. I guess I'll pull out three of my stones and just do my little magic trick on them, and, and just have some ready. stones ready and just like okay. bob it. Are you preparing around. an attack, or you're at the end of the initiative, so it doesn't matter? No, she's yeah. At the I'm, I'm at actually. the very beginning, oh, okay. so it doesn't then, matter. Then no, you're at the beginning. So oh yeah. Good. Okay. Well, when Clue Rock moves, she got the one. Yeah. That's right. When Clue Rock uh, moves out of the way, and if one of the imps becomes visible, I'm going to throw a stone at it. Okay. Mail. Um, they went invisible. Yes, they did. I'm gonna. Did I hear any? Can I hear them fluttering anywhere? You heard them flutter when they went invisible. You do not hear them currently. Where could they have gone? Is there any other places here they could go? There's a fireplace. Hmm. And a door to the south, but obviously you'd notice if that was opened. There is the the um, the black oak. There's the black oak dining table, the chairs, the fireplace, and then the curtain windows and the wine cabinet. It's safe to assume they're fleeing at this point. And there is the chandelier in the above the ceiling as well. Am I under it? No, it's over the table. I don't know where they went. Yeah, I don't know. Man, that sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he let me target one, so presumably they're not uh, that far I away. I will burn the third one. <laughs> okay. They're currently uh, sitting on top of the chandelier. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm holding my action right now. I could throw my... Sword at no, chandelier. <laughs> that chandelier coming down is no different than them warning them. But yeah. that, see, this is the thing: is yeah. like there is a little mechanism that'll lower that chandelier, but that will alert the entire mansion. <laughs> it seems bonus fair. action. I'm going to blow two charges on temporary hit points. Okay, infusing two of the three because I'm at full to give myself uh, the ability to sustain another attack. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Five. Okay, um, and I'll just. I don't know where they went. Now look at them. And I'll just... With my tusks. <laughs> like point with his tusks. Yes, I'll point with my tusks. Damn it, I can't. And I'll, uh... I use my action for, for d d mana sense. So I'll keep concentrated on it. See if I can figure out where they are. Okay. And, um... I'll just make it look like I'm looking for them. Where could they be? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna have Rhea make an insight to see if she picks up on what you're throwing. She does. Do nothing until you need to. Ready action. Yeah. She'll draw her short sword and dual wield out ready. Where are they? And I'll stand by the fireplace. Okay. They descend and they come up on either side of you. Okay. Uh, can I attack one? Are you right next to him within 10 feet of him? I'm... No. No. No, you're at the door. You're no. The door no, you're right? still at the door. I'm, al I'm alone. Okay, one of them is going to hit you. With? With a uh, 24. Again? Sure. Okay, I'm rolling. I rolled high. Yes. Very high. A 5 piercing. Please make a con save. Does it become visible? It does. Constitution save successful. Okay, so you take 5 poison. It then immediately becomes visible. <laughs> and I have already got my hand whipped back. Okay. And then I'll see it. I'm like, <laughs> Rhea make an attack, and she will hit as well. Um, That is a 22 to hit. Yep. And it smacks it in the nose for seven damage. With a magic stone. Yes. That combined with Rhea's sword will kill it. Woohoo! <laughs> cool. The other one... The sides against <laughs> revealing itself. <laughs> and you watch as it instead flies over to the fireplace and up. Opportunity. I'm in the fireplace. I'm in front of it. That's why, uh, I, that's you, why I went there. Yeah, yes. then you can make an attack on it. 
Can he get past me? He'll have to make a an, acro an acrobatics check. Natural twenty. I don't. I'll do it. Yeah. Hopefully. Get to roll that one. Ten plus. Ten. Twenty-four. Ten. Damage. All right. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> It, it's it's mist of, of the fiery blood variety. <laughs> nice. Well <laughs> done! I, these things are getting rather annoying. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, sir. I'm talking to the... Going back to Fendrick? Yeah. Is, yeah. Is there a command word for the imps? The what? The, the imps. The, the ones that are flying around. You know of them, right? It kind of just stares at you. <laughs> so uh, I'm hurt. Well, the cat's the cat knew about them. Well, the cat flies around. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna go okay. over to the cabinet and open it now. Grab, okay. look at, look for an expensive bottle of wine. <laughs> Drink a little bit of it. Uh, the 16 bottles of wine. Yes. Yeah. Can you roll a lock roll, please? Just, uh, I'm gonna grab two bottles. One for later. One for now. Sounds good. Uh, one and eleven, so I'm lucky. Cool. So you grab two bottles and you down one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink one, yeah. Okay. It's very fine wine. It's very good. Uh, Not intoxication levels. Just. Yep. Yeah. Eighteen on insight. Do I actually believe that he doesn't know about the imps? He doesn't seem to be aware of them. Okay. Most likely they've just been in business. No, no, this that's that's time. fine. I just wondered if he actually was legitimate. He has no idea what you're talking about. Fair enough. <laughs> <sighs> How do we get to this damn tower? Unless, like, I feel if we keep walking time. around this house, we're just going to keep running into these There's only bastards. one room left for Kamel to check before he has cleared the entire floor. Okay, well, well... That's not true. There's two more rooms. I'll go back to Fendrick and supervise his drawing of the upstairs and... After, and uh... Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I was going <laughs> to... Uh, yeah, I, I'll, give him, I'll give him another five gold Sounds for good. now. He will begin to draw. We'll okay. keep the purse strings tight for now. Kamel, are you continuing your clearing of the first floor? <laughs> <You're done laughs> <that>. no. <laughs> We're pretty good. <laughs> There's still two rooms you haven't checked. Yeah, I know. I'll grab another bottle of wine. <laughs> well, uh, honestly, uh, I I think perhaps we should wait until the cat gets back. It's checking on Dawn and Rowan. Oh, good. Yes, and it also knows about the imps, so it might know where they are. Perfect. So mm. we'll know where the imps are. We'll know where Dawn and Rowan are. We'll yes. know where the the Warriors are. Where are you at? Don't worry, I'm getting to it. <laughs> oh, shit. I will, uh, I'll drop another he cure wounds into you for, come on, give me You an need eight. a doctor. Uh, oh, God, you don't my mind. <laughs> seven more. You have a potion. I'm going to drink one, I think, eh? Yeah, drink one mm -hmm. of them, yeah. Because right. I'm, I'm... I am burning spell slots like a Yeah, I like have a one spell <laughs> slot left, so yeah. It's too bad he didn't decide to sweep the room when he had the cat with him. Well, I wasn't oh, expecting him to good, go eh? barging yeah. off and open more doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't barging, I was skulking. I know, I know. <laughs> skulking. <laughs> Sneaking! Uh, I was just trying to make sure this didn't, that these guys didn't get us in the end fight. Because if these guys all showed up in the end fight... <laughs> That well, yeah, you bad. did. You did. You did clear them from the from the board, so that is useful. Yeah, I got a feeling that this shit hit the fan. No, I th I think we're gonna just wait and position. Yeah, slobber chops does return. Yes. Yay! Okay. How long does he take? Um, probably fifty nine like, minutes. No, probably like <laughs> five minutes to be honest. Could use a short rest. <laughs> the flying cat. Where's that guy when we need him? One minute. Uh what what does he have to say? Man and woman are alive. They're in the oh, tower. Good. Good man good. and woman in tower. Well, you don't know what he's saying. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good. Good, good. And um, I do have a question for you about these imps. They uh, are quite to the bother. things. Uh, terrible. Uh, is there a command word for them at all? Or do you know no. where they all are? Well, I can see them. Yes, well, one of us can see them when they're very close, but they're, they're rather annoying. Um, would you perhaps... I know it's a bother, and I, I hate to be a bother, but I'll, I'll give you more food. Mm. Uh, would you perhaps uh, check for us before we enter a room? Mm. Just just a quick look. There's three in that room. Oh. They're dead. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't. Sorry. Well, which, which room? room? The room that you just fought three yeah. years <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yes, well, not anymore, there aren't. We're, we're taking care oh, of them for you. Good, yes, good. good. Uh, what about other rooms on this floor? Do we know? Um, there aren't normally more skulking about down here. Well, why don't you why don't you come with us, and I'll bring some food, and you can have a snack and look Ooh, for them with me. Very good. They don't... There's no command word. They all listen to Thirsty. Yes, I was afraid of that. Uh, where is Thirsty? Do you know? He's upstairs, probably uh, with more of them. Yes, in the tower? Or just in the... Uh, just no, on this upper floor? in his room. Oh, I yes. don't like him much. Uh, I, I don't think we do either. Okay, well... Uh, perfect. I'll, I'll grab... Um, I guess I'll bring the... Bowl, honestly. Sure, yeah. Just grab the food, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna blow, <coughs> blow a charge on turn for hit Temporary points, points. And, yeah. and I will, of course, relay. Uh, uh, the, yes. Uh, sorry, it's uh, slobber chops. Slobber chops. Slobber chops. Yeah. Uh, slobber chops is going to come. Uh, he, he, he can see the imps, oh, so oh, he's going God. to come with us. Just for posterity. Beautiful. This class feels great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. The versatility of those charges are wonderful. Those of you that bought the book, you're in for a treat. Uh, yes. So uh, we know we we think that uh, Thirsty is up on the on the second floor. Perfect. And Dawn and Rowan are are in the the tower. In the tower. Now, did you did you happen to see how many guards were in the tower? Ooh. Guards. Guards in hallway, not tower. Uh, it, on the way to the tower. How many were there, do you know? Excuse me, the wine has gone right through me. Oh. <laughs> like, also, in, like in the, on the... On the just how many we would yeah, have to go through. Yeah, because I had also asked... Two uh, filthy imps in tower. Oh, Ooh. stabbing prisoners. Oh, no! <laughs> um, as, but guards on, on hallway. Five. Whew. Oh, 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 no. no. <laughs> you may have picked up, this is a very intelligent cat. Yes, very. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Can we keep no, it? I, it's fantastic. Uh, do you have the find familiar spell? Uh, I think I get it eventually. When you get the find familiar spell, you can assign <sighs> slobber chops to your. That'd be familiar. amazing. Oh my God. You relate um, this to us? Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I'm, he's I'm just conversing you with the cat. I'm keeping you informed. I wonder if this cat can cause a distraction to get those guards out. Uh, well, uh, possibly. Uh, but, uh, but you see. We do want to be careful. We don't want uh, slobber chops to get injured, you see. This is true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, it, it, he's very good. He's very nice. Is he's there any more us. imps on the second floor? Oh, yes. Well, he told me there were... He told you there were some in Thirsty's room and two yeah. in the tower. Okay. Yeah, at the very least. Um, I'll go back to Fendrick with the map. Where? Which room is Thirsty's room, please? Thirsty? Uh, you mean Thirstwell? Yes, that's, yes. that's her nickname. Master Thirstwell. Master Thirstwell is in the southwestern room. This one? Southwestern. This one? Correct. With the tub. Okay. L look, at a meta level, we should do everything we can. Unless we are intending to attack her with the four of us, we should do everything we can to not engage until we have rescued Dorn and Ron. I don't know how we're going to get up there with the, the guards Five there. guards there. It's going to be a... Are they, like, just the normal, like, guards that we've ran into, or are these a little bit more, like... Well, they would be well-paid guards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ooh! Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't know if it'd be up on this floor. I was just what? wondering if we could find like a sleeping reagent or something and send food up to them and make them fall asleep. So they're currently being attacked by imps is the problem. No, I meant the guards. Uh, Sorry, oh. I didn't clarify that very well. Uh, we could try talking to the... Slubber Chops turns his head over towards Kamel. What did I miss? Kind of just flutters down... Sniffs around one of the bottles that you're holding. Oh. oh. Is there something wrong with that with that wine? Poison. Oh. Oh. Uh, Kamel, uh, don't drink that other You're making wine. luck rolls after all, weren't you? Oh, boy. Don't, don't, <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Slobotrop says it's poisoned. I wouldn't drink that. However, yes. Yes. 
bring get the wine sent up to the guards. Have them drink uh, it. Well, now we don't want to be suspicious. Uh, they probably don't <laughs> get given Hello. the wine yeah. very often. Hello, <laughs> have a drink. <laughs> uh, how, however, however, uh, perhaps if we they do eat, yes. This uh, is a question for Fenric. Uh, well, yes, they. Uh, are upon rotating guard shift with those outside, they will often have some food. Oh, shit. When does that happen? What time is it? He looks over at a clock. Make a luck roll. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. I have another idea, too. Make the luck roll. Well, we started with a three, okay. so... Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Not for a while yet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when did oh, the Fanzampas eat? This will be a good opportunity to send and just poison them. Uh, welcome, uh, is that Sites for Atlas Forge? Atlas Forge, welcome. And uh, when you subscribe to the channel, Hello, you can Atlas. give either the players or the GM a soul coin to make deals with. So yes. Let us know if you'd like to give it to the party or the DM. Might I, be a good time to point out the fact that standing next to you is a dumb waiter that goes to the second floor. Yes. Yeah. Just so yeah, that's yeah. still on the table. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, we, can, we can poison Thirsty. I, I'm not sure if we'll poison the guards. You're getting that soul coin. Oh, yeah, you're, man. You're getting oh. <laughs> hey, thank you very Straight much. Straight value to the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't needed it yet, but I'm Thank might. you very much. We appreciate it. Yes. We really you. do. And welcome to the party. Yeah, welcome. Where are um, you from? Let us know. Yeah, let us know if, where you're from. Well, we have a Discord if you want to join got people that, all over the world cetera. watching. Um, so, uh, what... We, if we are going to try and get rid of the guards, uh, we need to come up with a plan. Uh, Venric, do you have any ideas on this? And I'll give him another five gold. This is burning through my supply. Very <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry, I have, I have I a little bit more, too. Well, um, you, want to, you want to have the guards not upstairs. We would they? like a, a clear path from here to the tower. So, what is our objective again? It's just to kill the Van Zanfers. Well, we need to get yes. to the tower first. Uh, we, we, we're supposed to kill uh, Thirsty, but I think we should get Dawn and Rowan well, first. Well, apparently Thirsty is um, Thirstwell, is how Fendrick. Yeah, well, but I think we've all the heard Lamra her. Lamra is the, is the Duke. Right, that's true. We were actually supposed to kill the Duke, not, yes, uh, not yeah. whoever this other person is. Fair enough. Um, Thirsty's it, apparently controlling the imps. Yes. Uh, we're we're supposed to kill uh, that the lamb the lamra the lamra. Uh, but I think we should rescue Dorn and Rowan first. I yes? agree. I agree. They could help. Yes. Yes. So so they're in the tower. We know this. The slobber traps here told me. Uh, it confirmed it. Uh, they're being attacked by imps. But they are, are being attacked by. Yeah. Imps. Yeah. They're poked and prodded. Uh, we we should help them. But there are guards on the way. So we're trying to get rid of the guards. How many are there? Five, Five we're told. Well, shit. Yes, <laughs> that was our reaction, that was our too. Reaction. <laughs> but don't worry, I checked that don't rotate for a little while yet. <laughs> <laughs> one for each of us and two for Phineas. Deal. No, no. Uh, you got one inspiration from Temple. Thank you, Temple. <laughs> Do the Han Solo thing. Hey, can you give us a hand down here? <laughs> <laughs> Any I, sort of distraction at this point gives the game away in trouble. Call, sure. For what? Time doesn't move that quick. No, this is for something else. Uh -oh. move, well, that's not that? a great start. Start with a 16. Nope. No. <gasps> yeah, I figured. <clears throat> Sir, there's been some disturbances outside. Of course it has. Of course Open that? up! Uh, give me the guards outside. Give me one second. <clears throat> They're knocking at the front door? They're knocking at the doors which have been barricaded, yes. Oops. Um, I am... Well, it was either that or well, a guard stumbling on you. So well, it wasn't a terrible game idea. Game you you're about to get your fight. Yeah, I am going to go to the front door. Wait, we should all go to the front door. Mm. Oh, yes. Yep. And, okay, uh, ready? And I am going to do a performance <laughs> check for this. We're going to start at a 15, and I'm going to add a d6. Wait, why don't we get the, uh, the butler to say something? Uh, because I don't think they'll listen to the butler. So I'm going to bring it up to a clean 22. And in my best man of the house voice, I am going to say, 
Y yes, we know there was a we know there was a problem, uh, but uh, you stay out there and keep them at bay. Just guard the end, guard the the fences. I keep forgetting you're a bard. Guard the walls. <laughs> what, you, what did you roll? Twenty-two. Whoop. Whoop. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, and you're trying to imitate. Uh, actually, I would probably be trying to imitate Thirst the... Mom. No. He doesn't know uh, what Thirstwell sounds from the, like, but he knows what Amrick sounds like. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Amrick, yes. Yes. Well, your 22 beats my 19. Whoa! Uh, ah! Mr. Van Thamper, we, we weren't aware you were here. Uh, yes, I, I, I got in, and uh, I saw the fire. Don't worry about it. Uh, the horses are safe. Yes, sir. Oh, good. Keep them safe. Uh, keep us safe. We'll we're all fine in here. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> How are you now? Nah. <laughs> Before a conversation. Before a conversation. Anyway. <laughs> Hold on the door. Very well, sir. Very good. Uh, thank you. And you hear the sound of about nine men walking away. Oh, okay. Oh. Open the door and say it was Whoa. not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Glad I added that extra D6. Well, well done, done, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think it worked. Yes, well done. Well done, Phineas. Well done. Well done. <laughs> 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 Let's make quick work of this place. We need to get to that tower. Uh, Fenric was going to say we something. We owe on borrowed guards. time. Yes. Um, each of the guards are trained to ensure that they remain within front of each door, attacking anyone not accompanied by a Van Thamper. If they hear trouble elsewhere, they stay put unless ordered to move by a member of the family. Hey, Mr. Van Thamper. <laughs> well, that's an option. Um, Too bad so no one has disguised self. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no. Dorn does. Dorn I does. Do not. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I can do a little bit of disguise, but no. I'm pretty sure you could get disguised self. <laughs> yeah, well, so so don't get me wrong. That's on the table. Um, <laughs> it's always on the table. So uh, I'm gonna chat with you. Just for the sake of a little bit of brevity here, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna chat with Slobber Slobber Chops, Slobber Chops, and Fenric, and yep. we're gonna have a little bit of a powwow. And I want to know, I want to get an idea of where all the guards are posted. So, and if there's any imps in the halls, you have a guard. Uh, we'll cover that. So Slobber Chops can tell you that there are generally no imps in the hall. Yep. There is a guard positioned outside each door. So one, two, three, four, five. And three get, over here, one here, and, and one here, going up the stairs to come up this way, directly in front of one of the guys. And this is, over here is the entrance to the tower. Correct. And this is where Van Thamper is. This oh. is where Thirsty is. Okay, so if we were to come up in this door. The Lamra's, this is the Lamra's. They're going to the all room. see us. This is yeah. the Lamra's room, which yeah. is where the dumb waiter goes. Yeah, we're, uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How big is the dumb waiter? <laughs> uh, five feet by five feet. Ask, uh -huh. ask Slobber Chops uh -huh. if there's any imps in Thalamra's room. Uh, in Thalamra's room? Da, 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 da. And how big is that chute that goes up? Five feet wide by five feet. So we could all technically climb up there to get one into that room. Yes. Yep. And imps remain outside of the master bedroom. Outside of it? They, well, imps do not... They don't go in. They don't go in the master bedroom. They are not permitted. Okay. Uh, it just... I think we found our way upstairs. Yep. And I want to point out as well that you can go right from her room to yep. the right tower. That's yep. what yeah. I was just seeing. Yeah. Yep. As a matter of fact. Okay, so all we need to know, A, is she in that room? Is she home? That's a good question, which, of course, the butler, Fen Fendrick, can say, well, um, she is indeed here. Whether she's in her room, I cannot say. Right. She has not called for assistance in some time. Phineas. I think your new furry friend could uh, probably go up and let us know this. Uh, yes, I, I, I don't. Slobber chops. Uh, can, yes. can you get into the to the master bedroom of your own accord? Oh, there's, there's a sh shoot. Uh, yeah, but if we send the dumb waiter up alone, that's going to be cat. super suspicious. <laughs> no. Yeah, if she is in there, it's going to be awkward. No. Is the main thing. Um, so curtains are covering all the windows, but slobber chops can certainly just kind of. Be the house cat, and I just wasn't sure if the doors would be open. Oh yeah, mm. I, I'll I'll give him a, a fresh helping of food and uh, one more time for, for okay. which should be I, his signal though to let us know whether or not she's in there. 
I would assume he'll just come back and tell yeah. us. You know, oh, yeah, I guess cats. In and out, in and out. No one's going to question yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> in and out, in and out, in and out. Why is this house cat betraying its masters? I fed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the, masters of this, <laughs> so the masters of this estate suck ass. I see. Everybody's just like, let me out of here. I, I fed it, and I'm actually talking to it as a as like an equal. So I it appears to be as intelligent as the average person. Yeah. So, uh, so far, yeah, I haven't gotten any inkling of it. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it goes up the stairs. You hear it. Damn cat! <clears throat> you hear a door open and then close. And then you. Hear, <laughs> yep, that's a cat. That's a cat. <laughs> and then about five minutes later, the, 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 the cat comes down. What? What? Mistress, that? not in her room. Oh, perfect. Oh, wonderful. Perfect. Uh, I, I do believe perfect. it's safe to go up the dumb waiter. If she does that again, I'm going to bite her. I'm sorry. You can't hear that. It's just. <laughs> I, well, I hear it's grumpy, and I'll just assume that it's mad. I'm she, sorry, kitty. She doesn't mean any offense. She's she's just she's had a rough few days. She's killed a lot of people. Hmm. You, you you understand? Yes, I I, I apologize. That's a dead mouse. I'll take a piece of food and hold it out to it. I'll go sit in the dumb waiter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> uh, just before we do this, the bell that we see. Is it very clearly for ringing yes. from the oven? This will not ring it's the bell. It's to alert the, the, yeah. the kitchen that okay. she needs food. We'll send you up. <laughs> Slowly, quietly as we can. I, I'll do all the... Yeah. Why am I doing this? You are brought up into uh, a master bedroom. It is... Uh, there is a, a canopied bed with a gossamer shroud, a freestanding wooden privacy screen, a cast iron bathtub with clawed feet, a fireplace, and a padlocked iron chest. The, ch the padlock on the chest is cast in the shape of a horned devil's scowling visage. It's been less than 10 minutes, correct? It has been. The, t the well, tech is still on. Oh, it's been, no, it's been well enough for that now. So it's off. Oh, yes. Goody. But the uh. cat did say there were no imps in this room. Yeah, specifically said there would be no imps in that yeah. room. So uh, you just, can, sorry, before you go on, yes. uh, thank you, Richter, for dropping uh, two, for well, two, three, four, five total, and that's going to bring us all up to three. Oh, oh wow. thank you, Richter. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. Where am I at? Two. Once he's up and out, I'll bring the thing back down. Marmalade. What? What? Get in. Oh, how are you going to get up later? Don't worry about that. Okay. Camille's up there already. He's strong. Go. <laughs> Yeah, there is a chest and then a bed and some other stuff in there and a door to the south. I'll be. I will not move. Okay. So you're just yeah, going to stand there. Yeah, there. Once, one by I'm one, you all go up, up the dumb waiter until you build. Bring along, along, along with slobber chops. Yep. Yeah. I'm not Tarina. stealthy, so I'm just going to stay. I'm just going to slip off and just stay. When Tarina gets in before me. I was just like, nice oh, dig. Jesus, God. What the hell do you do? Fuck. Hey, I've lost weight. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just playing. So from this point on, we're obviously all going to be whispering, but we're yes. not going to do that. For because, sure. again, the yes. audio would be terrible. I'll pull up my hand pistol. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just, just a nice gossamer. I'll just check with uh, Slobber Chops. Uh, were there any imps in the next room? Mm. Not usually. Well, he, he just came through the next room, oh, right? Oh, then correct. No. Yeah. No, there so we'll, we'll very quietly... In fact, I have some some oil from some of the other <laughs> stuff that I do. I will straight up oil the door hinges Sounds before good. we do this. <laughs> uh, and then we will silently, silently open the door. Silently, with, with, with a whisper, the, the door <laughs> yeah. opens. Um, and you can see that it is. this is a room, contains a vanity, topped with a framed oval mirror, bottles of perfume, brushes, cosmetics, needles, spools of thread... A folding wooden partition adorned with a bird of prey rendered in gold leaf. A tall Ooh. black wardrobe filled with corsets and fine clothes. A decorative gold rug laid out in front of three unlocked wooden chests. And no a door to the you. south, as well as a door to the west. Oh, God's there. Yeah, I'm um, staying. I'm not moving at all. Uh, yeah, well, I, I already got the layout. I'm going to open the next door. Same wait, 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 thing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Why don't we... Back into the master bedroom. Send the cat. The cat wants to get into the other room. The guard will come in, let the cat through. That sounds like a terrible idea. No, because then the cat can go in and see if there's any imps in there, then come back. 
The cat, are, well, the cat technically went up that way. It went in here? It went up to the tower. Oh. Yeah, it did husband. earlier, yeah. I just yeah, went that and, and, and it, it told and you there were two imps in, in the, the tower. In the tower. In the okay. tower, yeah. in the tower like itself. Like poking yes. Thorn yeah. and Rowan up yeah. there. Yes. But I just meant in that initial bottom landing. Yeah, there. no, we, we should be clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good so, so same thing. I'm going to oil up the hinges just to be double sure and, sure and open up. And hopefully I don't get attacked as I move into that room. I'm going to look so you, at Kamel really, really hard. Then go over back, to the master- back two other rooms away. <laughs> go back to the master bed room. Go to the bed, grab a blanket, and just start wrapping him in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to muffle the, the sound. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll allow that. That makes sense. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> You're gonna you have, dis- you have disadvantage on everything except stealth now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a ghost, and I attack him. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast ghost. Do so you open the door to the south? There is an oak writing desk angled to face the middle of the room with a matching chair behind it and two black candlesticks atop it. There's also three bookcases, a freestanding suit of black plate armor topped with a bucket helm equipped with a long sword and a shield. A wrought iron spiral staircase leads Dibs. up. Okay, a couple questions. First <laughs> yes, of all, sir. this uh, First suit of armor on a one to <laughs> sentient, on, on a scale from one to sentient. How sentient does a it A fiery look? orange light fills the uh, armor's hollow interior and it raises its sword ah, towards sh- you. Great! Shit. That answers that question. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing Initial? first. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, that's not going to be quiet. Nope, it's not going to oh, be quiet at all. It's not even in the thing. Uh, I am going to add one to that because I think if I go first, I might be able to take care of this. Devin? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I guess I have... Uh, Okay. So say I, I don't have time. I have to react according to the initiative, right? Correct. Okay. You, you you actually don't even necessarily know that this is That's happening. Fine. Yeah, in fact, only Clorock and I are there mm-hmm. right now. All right. So, Phineas, what'd you get? 22. There you go. 15. Rock, 15. Four. That's where I should be. 20. 20. All right. Um... I do have a. I, I I don't think it would get a surprise attack because I think a suit of armor animating is fairly. It's kind of noticeable. It's got like a warm up to it, like. It's and like, yeah, it's not like we were charging into the room. And you were also suspicious of it. Yeah. So I'll say we're normal initiative. I think that's. You get to go fair. first, then, Mister Phineas. So. You just got one from delay as well. Oh, thank you. Added. Um. What so did- I'm actually going to forego my move because I, I am just just inside the room, uh, and just as a free sort of action, I'm going to ask Slobber Jobs. Do I happen to know if there's a wood for this? <laughs> uh, and, no. yeah. great. Only Van Thamper's allowed. Yeah, and I don't think my little. Uh, Technically, I don't even think Slobber Chops knew this was a thing. Well then, uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, we're in trouble. We're in big, <laughs> big, big trouble. Are the doors? Uh, I am going to lob the alchemist fire in the room and walk out. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Close the door behind me. Uh, How was that uh, going? Oh, oh, you sure? The fire goes up and Dorn's up there. I yep. don't think Phineas will do that. Does Phineas like think that you? far ahead? Is the other question? Well, it, I mean, it's a suit of armor. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> Yeah, but the tower is going to be on fire, so... It will, yeah. It'll set the tower yeah. on fire. I mean, the, the staircase is, is cast iron. Oh, okay. But yeah. the building itself, like, the inside will burn. The tower it's will a, probably it's be It's a fire. fair point. Uh, Phineas would not do anything to overtly endanger Dorn. Clever-ass dungeon, I'll tell you that much. It's like Adrian running Shatter on again. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't expect that turning on the jammer would cause the yeah. armor to light up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a fair point. Um, I am going to back out of the room. Let's Fair just, enough. Let's just try and take this I'm thing ju- out and deal to with it. To start with, I am just going to back out of the room and close the door. Are you disengaging? It's right next to you. Uh, oh, well, I would be sure. right there, too. Did you, he went in first, I mean, I, you go in first? I, like, I don't mind using a full round, like, disengage. So, here's, here, here, here's the way it works. Whoever entered the room, which would be Clue Rock, or was it that you opened the door? Because you uh, opened the door. I mean, I had said that I opened the door. You opened the door, so you're within five feet of it. You do get a cover bonus from the, the wall because sure. he's around the corner. Yeah. But if you're with him, 
then you're not anywhere near where you can attack I mean, unless I, you win in the room. I should be able to use like a full round disengage, you can disengage. Right? Yeah, because yeah. I all I want to do is move back, close the door. You can you can do that. That is all I want to do with that. my turn. Sounds good. I wonder who causes it to stop. It's just, That's what I'm hoping for. Open the door. For. Oh. That is literally <laughs> what I'm hoping for. I'm like, there are guards up here. Conceivably, they have a safeguard. We'll find out. Yep. We need to bar that door, too. I know. That was my plan. Yes, that would be what you should yeah. do. All right, next it is Marmalade's turn. Um, Marmalade's going to run to the vanity and grab... I'm going to grab the chair that's there and go back to the door near the guard. And well, I'm not running, but I'm, you know, moving quickly, as quietly as I can, and jamming the... the uh, jamming the... This is the door that leads out to the hall? Yes. The one okay. in the guard. The one in the powder room. Yes. The one with the guard directly outside. Yes, yeah. and I'm going to jab... <laughs> that one. Put the, the the chair underneath like the doorknob or something to help block it. Sure, why not? Because I'm not strong. I can't pick up any of the big I mean, this is things. Lady Thalamra's powder room. It does have a lock, but assuming the guard probably has a key. Also, I don't have the key yeah. to... Well, I guess I can't can lock, lock it. You from this side. Yeah. I'll lock it and then I'll put the chair okay. underneath. I mean, it was probably it was already locked anyway. Okay. All right. Well, All putting right. the chair underneath. You either way. You can do that. That way, if they unlock it, they still can't get the door open. Without That's my effort. What the fuck are we going to do? I don't know. Yeah. Continue. Right. Clue Rock. I'm going to go right up beside the door, hold my action, and wait for this damn thing to come through. If Sounds it good. Through. It does. The second it comes through <laughs> okay. the door. The second it comes through the door. The door bursts open. And I you get an attack. So I rock it. Please be nice to me. That's nice. That's uh, 25. That hits. Oh, God. The orange glow beneath the armor flares as you swing your sword at it. Oh, that's uh, 14 damage. You know you get advantage on your damage, right? Remember? Oh, yeah, that's God, the whole that's thing right. with your sword, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot better. That's uh, 20, 27 damage. 27? Ooh. Or not 27, sorry. Uh, 17. Okay, I was going to say 27. Yeah, 27. Really high for level three. Was one less Dude, crit, but you should have stayed with 27. 27. <laughs> 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Uh, I, you get a slight little incision on the side of the armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. It damaged it. Yeah. And bonus. I'll. In fact, when it comes through, I'll swing my I'll swing my sword around so that it impacts here. Okay. And I'll with my other hand, I'll push forward to kind of brace myself. And rage. Cool. It makes the same sound that the uh, the uh, the fell reaver makes. What? It? He wouldn't know what that I, is. I can't. I can't make the sound. I know. It's it's Whatever. an awful noise. You have a visceral reaction once you've died. Yes, exactly. It several times. It, 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 it ensnares fear. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Is that it for you, Clue Rock? Yeah. Well, that was your reaction. Yep. It. Uh, you are the currently the intruder directly in front of it. Actually, that would have been my action because that was my turn. That's. Oh. No, you had readied an action. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. And it my burst bad. the door sorry. open my bad. and is now attacking yep. you. That's fine. That's fine. Swing once and your blade will be able to catch it, but the second attack is going to be um, a 24 to hit. Mm. <laughs> the attempt to reduce has been made. Yeah. Not like. 24 minus 7. Uh, it's 14. No, sorry. 15? 16. 16. No, I'm gonna have to 17. 17. Yeah, there yeah, we go. I, I can it's add. It's a number. Normally. So, no, Subtract. It <laughs> That's what, a 13 what, now. What, what do you do to, to prevent it from hitting you? Oh, I literally, the second the blade comes at me, I'll duck my head down, kind of force myself into it a bit more, and then when it comes around again, I just... It might catch the top of one of my horns. Glance is a horn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just like, and I've also burned all my inspiration. So. And seeing that you have already attacked it, it then kind of backs up slightly and levitates 10 feet in the air. Oh, oh for God's come sake. on. It's a freaking Dalek. <laughs> Why is it levitating 10 feet in the air? Because so it can. Just to make us a harder. At this point, passive perception, am I hearing the guards going, what's that noise? Yes. Must oh. have been the wind. Goody. What's that? And you kind of, the doorknob is starting to, to turn. I will open a bag of caltrops, sprinkle it across Sounds the door. Sounds good. 
That's my action. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And then I will burst through into the room underneath okay. the thing, I yep. guess, because it won't be able to... And then fast and go and lean against the other door. Embrace that other door. Okay. The door that leads out to the balcony. Yeah, because there's another way in. That is the other way yeah. in, yes. I will brace that door and hold it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, that is all I can do. Phineas. Oh, what about Trina and Rhea? Oh, right. I should roll for them, shouldn't I? It'll be Rhea's turn next, then. So there's Caltrops. 20 Caltrops on the floor. Be careful, Marmalade. Sounds good. Trina. Oh, shit. Yeah. That about sums it up. But I think we can do this. We certainly could use Rowan and... Tarina uh, will uh, burst into the room with her morning star and stretch out her arm ten feet to hit the thing. Cool. Oh. Oh, yeah, because she's giant. Bugbirds... Yeah. Well, no, bugbirds have gangly it, I mean, they're, they're big, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 14 to hit, which will just clang off the armor, which there's not much we can do about that. Yeah. Yep. Rhea will run in, and uh, she can't do much. She, I, crossbow. <laughs> Fair enough. And She'll kind of look me? over, like, crossbow? Sure. <laughs> She's already heard <laughs> the loudest well. clank in the yeah. world. She will, yeah, she will hit it for six, which will not deal six damage, but... There we go. I'm going to Phineas. run under it and up the stairs. Sounds good. Oh, um, and I will cast Blade Ward on myself. Hey, smart, okay. smart, smart, smart. So you're going to go at least 25 feet to get you, I think, halfway up the stairs. Cool. I, th I think. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it actually specifies how high the thing is. I'm just going to say that's going to get you into the room and then halfway up the stairs. Fair enough. Do I see the loot as oh, it I'm climbs fifteen? By? It climbs fifteen feet. No, you have not seen a loot. Okay. So you've gone. We didn't do bad considering. Ten feet up. We didn't yeah, do so bad you're, yet. You're a little bit away with them. <laughs> no, I mean we got this far. <laughs> yeah. Well yeah. done. Marmalade. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my stones again, cast magic stone on them, and just throw it at the thing. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. I mean, it, that ship is safe. <laughs> Yeah. Clink, clink, clink. No, uh, fourteen to hit. Clink. Oh. Use, your, use some of your dice. <laughs> the thing is made See? of hey, armor. Hey, it's been doing well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> use some of your dice. Come on. Oh shoot! I keep forgetting See, about that. So That's all right. <laughs> use it to keep yourself alive. Blue <laughs> Rock. Hi. <laughs> all right. So, if this is fifteen feet in the air, ten feet. Ten feet in the air. It is currently ten feet in the air. I should be able to reach it. Nope. Um, well, yes. There's also a desk in there. You might if you're, on. yeah, I mean, yeah, you could like get up on top of some furniture and, and the go stairs on. going up. Are they like open? It's just stairs. It's an iron rail. wrought staircase. Like enclosed. There's like there's like um, um, the poles railings. Oh yeah. All right. Hmm. I am going to. Yeah, I'm gonna like. I'll go up a bit up the stairs. Okay, right behind Phineas. And then I'm going to jump off the stairs, and I'm going to come right at the thing's back. There you go. For a natural 20. <laughs> no. Hey. Nice. Yeah, no, I can confirm. <laughs> so, Clue Rock. <laughs> Clue Rock. Uh, oh, God, there's one. There's two. Clue Rock runs up to the stairs, grabs the old man's shoulder, gives him a little pat, then turns red in his eyes, jumps. And Brunton comes to right down the back, <laughs> double-handed, <laughs> right into the back of this thing's head. Okay. For max damage. A loud, of, echoing. Yeah, max damage. That's uh, yeah. that's the entire place is quite. That's twenty-eight damage. To whom the bells damage. toll. Okay. This is definitely gonna... didn't hurt it as much as it probably would have, but it hurt a lot. Yeah. It did some damage. Yeah. Good. And just for giggles and shits, I'm going to hang on to it. Okay. Yeah. Keep your sword. Yeah. Cool. Tarina will back you up. Beautiful. With a morning star. And the thing will just kick it out of the way. Mm. Ow! It's my favorite morning star. Try harder. <laughs> it will then just rotate itself around and fly over to Phineas. 
Well, I'm on the stairs. Yes, it's going above the staircase, flying above and attacking down at you. Can I? It's see? not completely enclosed, like from the, there's no ceiling on the staircase. Yup. Right. So he's flying above the staircase, and then coming down on you. So I'm on this thing's back. Yeah. Can I just attack you're it as it starts to move? No, because you're technically grappling it with one hand. Yes. And I have a free hand. Oh, so although if, if you're grappling, it can't move. Well, also, Wait. hang on. If there's no staircase, then I can currently... See, if there's no ceiling on it, then I can currently see Dorn and Roan. You can see that there's a there's a room up there, but you can't make out too much details because it's on the spread out on the... There, let me rephrase. You are, you are in a room. <laughs> I, I understand where the confusion is. You're in the room, right? There is the spiral staircase, which has a railing. Yes. Right? You are halfway up the spiral staircase. Sure. But are not yet past the ceiling. There's yes. a roof hatch. Right? Yes. So it is still exposed. flying along the top of the ceiling. Sure. And then coming down on top of you. So it's not you've actually coming out. down on top of me at all. It's coming up beside me. Is That's what you're saying. More accurate. That makes yes. way okay. more sense. But seeing as I'm <laughs> grappled onto it. Well, I'm saying you can hold on to it, but mechanically you're not grappling it because that would be a little too powerful if I let you do that. Okay. Yes. So uh, you're not, I can't. You're just... on it, but you're sure. not grappling it. Okay. No, no, that sense. So I wouldn't be able to just take an opportunity attack on it when it starts to move? No, because it hasn't moved out of your reach. Oh, that's true. It's still in your reach. What if I let go? <laughs> well, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> would, you I, like to, would you like to let go? If I let go and just give it another swipe. I'll let you do that. I'll do that. Attack it as it moves away. Again? Look! You. I'm with not your... joking! No, you're not. You, you with your horseshoe son butt. Of a bitch. Roll your damage. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, well then, I'm, we're all impressed. But let's get going. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Do you uh, really want this thing dead? That's twenty-seven. Okay. Well then. Fine, Mr. Horseshoe Butt. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yep, it's going to attack Phineas. Yep. Yeah. What happens to Clark though? Do he fall? Yeah, Clark just falls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh look, a crit. Damn it. Okay. Uh, you, sir, are going to be taking uh, 18, no, sorry, uh, 16 slashing damage. Okay, I will take 8. I have Blade Ward. Aha! Ah, yes. yeah. mm. Smarty! <laughs> Smarty farty. Okay. <laughs> oh! Don't, I'm coming! Wait. <laughs> does, a, does, hit a, you. does a 14 hit? <laughs> oh, yeah. It must mm. die. Uh, yeah. Okay, you are then hit for 8 slashing damage. Okay. Bang. Bang. Well, that would have really hurt if you'd have played a oh, buddy. Down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kamel. Okay. It's now I, 15 feet up. I'm not concerned with that. They can take care of it. I'm concerned with the getaway plan. Yeah, you're now in front of that. You're now in front of that door, and you can definitely hear some mobilization going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna slide the desk under the door. Okay. And look out the window. Oh, out into the balcony. It's gonna just like. Peek out. No, no. There's any windows in this area? There is a window that peeks out onto the balcony. Oh no, that's a. Um, the the only window peeks out to the to the like the yard. That's what I want to see. I want to just gotta sh slide it aside to look out onto the yard. So the guards in the yard do not appear to be alerted yet. You can just see them doing their normal patrols. The How far is the, it to the other side of the uh, the wall wall? Which wall? So down across the yard, there's the twelve foot wall. Oh, I see. What is the trajectory? So it's a, it's twenty feet from the uh, from the wall of the manor to the wall out to the outside. Twenty wall. feet, and then I am. You are currently about ten, probably about fifteen feet up. I'm a late. Do mm. you have rope? I believe so. May I use it? <laughs> Just combat going on. Well, I believe I do. Is <laughs> yes, I have fifty feet of rope. Here, here you go. Thank you. Y you're welcome. Okay. Um. And then uh, I don't know if I have much action left. Moving the, blocking the door is an action for sure. Yeah, and then I guess bonus, I'll just take the rope and. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then I'll stay by the windowsill okay. with the rope. Thank you. Rhea will uh, kind of look over and see what you're doing and look up at the helm and. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see if I can get this taken care of. <sighs> Should she attack the helm horror or help you guys? Probably attack the thing. Yeah, that's probably okay. attack. She will run thing, up and yeah. attack that. <laughs> there we go. She'll get a hit in. Okay. The door outside of the balcony that now has a desk in front of it is 
slammed again, has attempted to open. <sighs> it's jammed! Get the boys! Are you down there? Good. They've now alerted the entire yard. Oh, Phineas. this is all going sideways. So, how far, how tall are these stairs? Uh, 15 feet. You can move five feet and you'll basically be up on the next floor. Okay, I'm continuing up. That was good. And did anyone like a stress donut? No, I'm good. No, will, uh, I would, actually. <laughs> did Rhea damage you? She did. Yeah. I got how much? Three. Three damage? Okay. So she's doing half damage. Yeah. That's uh, uh, it will take a swing at you well, if you move up there. So, the real question is... Get Dorn. I don't actually need to go... Well, I kind of do. So, how far up the stairs... Like, it strikes me that I should be able to get up to the point that I can see yep. them without actually leaving its sure. threat range. Sure. That's the first okay. part of my move. The spiral staircase climbs 15 feet to a square room with crisscrossing rafters 10 feet overhead and a peaked roof above that. An empty bookcase dominates the west wall and two filthy padlock cages stand on the floor, each cage holding a human prisoner and a okay. chamber pot. Perfect. And there's obviously MCR. here. I already know there are MCR. here. The cat will even, like, let yeah. you know there are yeah. two imps here. Um, one of the prisoners is a uh, female human. The other is a male human. Would they happen to be Roan and Dorn? <laughs> they were humans. They were humans, so no. Fair enough. Dorn is a dwarf and Rowan's a half -line. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Fair enough. Uh, they kind of get up. Huh? And then they see the giant armor behind you. Oh! And they don't They're look, covered in little sting wounds yeah. all over the place. And they body. don't look like uh, adventurers. They look like They peasants. look like uh, not necessarily peasants, but they look like commoners. Yeah, so even getting them out is not going to do me much. Okay. Um, wow, were we deceived? Well, the cat never... I was it's half like expecting this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cat never specifically lied to me. No. Um, That's not good. It's not wonderful. So, okay, so I will not continue up, and I will go... Help! Mr. Chicken. Yeah, cages. I don't care about that. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to attempt to attack the armor, I suppose. Sure. Kick its ass, you bastard. Stupid as that is, I will. Given that it should have, like, no wisdom. You would hope. I am going to vicious mockery. And, uh. And I will. You aren't even well polished, you stupid thing! <laughs> 15. I'm going to drop that by a d6. Okay. If, if you don't mind. Sure thing. Uh. Here's my d6. A four, which brings it under. Okay. Unless you are going to challenge me on that. Nah. Okay. Uh, it will take. You guys uh, are you guys are stressed enough. I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to make it worse. It yet. will take three psychic damage, and it will have disadvantage on its next attack. Oh, look at that! It can take psychic damage. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's a suit of armor. It's just very strange. Unfortunately, in doing so, I did not get Blade War it up. So. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Marmalade. Uh, Marmalade is going to start running up the stairs a little bit so she can get close enough to the the armor itself and poke. stab it with your spear. Yeah, not really. Um, maybe. <laughs> Attempt. Um, Remember, you do have. Yeah. I mean, if it's not that far off, it's, got, it's far off. Oh, okay. Oh, not that far, far off. off. Uh, okay. what was it? eight? What was, what was that? Comes a total 14. of fourteen. It's a suit of plate armor. It's, it's a suit of plate armor <laughs> <laughs> with a shield. <laughs> yeah, it'll be twenty twenty one, at least. Yeah, nineteen. So a plate armor by itself is eighteen, and it has a shield. Damn it! I give up. At least twenty. I mean, you've burned two. Two. Yeah, Honestly, I may as well just you might do as well it. Just go for it. And then another five. So there twenty four. Yeah. There, there we are. are. All right. The spear gets through fully. the plates. <laughs> And uh, stabs it for six stabbies. I just kind of. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Clue rock. Uh, so, 
This thing's still standing, huh? Well, floating. It's floating. Yes. Well, same, pretty much. Oh, but it's close to the stairs. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go up the stairs, jump, and I will make an attacky tacky. That's a. Oh, damn it. 19 won't hit, right? No. Well, what am I going to do? Oh, reckless. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Dirty 20. Thank you. Uh, there you go. I figured it was probably just plate and shield. Plate and shield. Yeah. Uh, plus nine. 13 yeah. damage. Okay, sir. 13, you said? Yes. Okay. Still standing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jesus. It's starting to crack. Uh, you can see the, the the fire inside of it is beginning to die down, but it's still it's still trucking. It's very mm-hmm. obviously going to have resistance to mm-hmm. non-magical. Yeah. Very yeah, obvious. if you have an adamantite hammer. Sure. Yeah. That would be super <laughs> helpful. Foley! <laughs> yeah. Is that it for you, Clue Rock? One of us has an adamantite hammer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah. Tarina will hit with her Morningstar. Woohoo! Okay. Dealing 11 piercing damage, except not. Is it halved or something? Or yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Right. Moving on then to its turn. So all kinds of targets. So hit me. I think it's going to go for the one who is actually most brazenly intruded. And kind of work its That's way fair. down. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 21 to hit. <laughs> yeah, just by a bit. If for eight <laughs> slashing. Oh, really? Yes. I'm okay. Okay. Whoosh. For now. Why is it only eight slashing? So much damage it deals. Because it didn't crit me this time. Ah, uh, <laughs> correct. Uh, then a 30 20 to hit. <laughs> Oddly enough. For another yeah. eight slashing. Uh, so that will put me down. Okay. Oh, no, Phineas. No. And then it will rotate itself over towards the next target. Uh, which will take us to. Camel. Nope. Oh, no, not Camel. Does a dirty 20 hit you, Clue Rock? Well, yeah. Oh. You immediately notice imps coming right for you. Ah. Two imps from there, yeah. And they, uh, does a 15 hit you? No. Okay. You are stabbed for five piercing. Please make a con save. Ooh. Both of them <laughs> appear out of being inv- invisible. Wow. Uh, that things. is a 22. <laughs> a 22, you take five poison damage. Cool. As they inject some poison in with their tails. <laughs> intruders! More intruders! <laughs> Uh, uh, now just, just to be perfectly clear, I did let you guys know that it yep. wasn't Doran and Rome. Just yeah. so yeah, you yeah. all know. Yeah. Just, <laughs> well, okay. Oh, finished on that. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I think I said I think we've been tricked, <laughs> <laughs> and then turned around. Okay, yes. Camille. <sighs> so, so the guards are like leaving the courtyard now. They're running into the manor and struggling to get the door open as they've been barricaded. It's going to probably take a fair bit for them to get in here, but they are now trying to. So my goal is to see, try to get them up to the doors, and then we go out the window. This is the only way I can think right now. But sure. In the meanwhile, there are more pressing issues at hand, such as damage output versus damage input. Um, can I get if to If you this, can hit this thing, it'll probably do some Can I get to this damage. armored guy? You can run up the stairs and push past your, compa- your companions, yes, and stand on top of Phineas's unconscious body. I don't want to stand on top well, you want, of it. But yeah, but you'll like stand on his face. All right. Directly <sighs> on my face. <laughs> a nice boot. I, I will expect him to fall down the stairs. Just <laughs> let him do something. I will, I will make my way out there. And then both. Sounds good. Um, I can't get past it without an attack, right? Oh, I can. Like, as long as I don't leave its threat range. Yes. Oh, I'm still in its threat range. <clears throat> I just want to get to the opposite side of Clue Rock. Oh, uh, uh, not without being able to fly. Yeah, because it's at the edge of the stairs, and Clue Rock's on the stairs, so you're both facing it from the oh, same. Oh, how direction. high is it? Fifteen feet. Yeah, yeah. There's another desk there in the in the map. That's right? not gonna get you fifteen feet up, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll go. Up, I'll go for hit. Okay, then. or attempt to anyway. <clears throat> not against that, it will. Nope. Um, you got you got some you got some dice. I do have dice. I'm, well, I mean, I'm off you're, by. I, I need to say, gain yeah. nine. Your hammer is going to damage it. We are in tight situations. I, I only feel it is fair that I'll use my inspiration for a reroll. 
16, okay. That is a 22 to hit. You got it, sir. I will invoke Mana Devour the second time for today. And drain it of a D8 of its life for a charge. Is that assaulted pun worth this? What? Was that a, they've been assaulted pun worth what you just used it for? No, but I don't want my party <laughs> to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Um, so it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, and please make a constitution save. <laughs> the hammer cracks directly into the center of the breastplate, shattering the armor and sending pieces of it scattered oh. about the room. Oh. Oh. I'll look at the ems and go, run! <laughs> He's a big scary. You damn skippy I am. That's my action. <laughs> <laughs> These ems are darn horrible. skippy I am! <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll remove oh. all that intimidation. <laughs> you, hear, you hear a loud <laughs> as the guards attempt to get through the door but fail. Which is going to take us to Araya, who is now going to uh, kind brace of the door, run up, and I guess go for the imps. Uh, I think she should brace the door. Okay, she'll brace the door then. Oh wait, did the imps? Did the imps look like they're trying to get the hell out of there. They've already attacked me. Um, well, they're probably going to turn invisible. Um, and she should make an intimidation check. All right. Well, oh, thank you, Eva Bell. Nineteen. And one for marmalade. Thank you, oh, Eva. Thank you. Nineteen. One of them looked like it was about to kind of leave. The other one's like. Promotion! They're gonna stay? Yeah. Uh, Rhea can kill them then. Okay, she'll run up, swing her sword three times. One, promote, two, promote this. three hits. Beautiful. <laughs> and one of them will die. Beautiful. That's for El Terrell. Promotion. <laughs> uh, Phineas. I didn't hear any of that because I'm unconscious. You're unconscious, please make a death save. And that's a shame because that was very interesting. Mm. Uh, 19. That was just one shy. <laughs> uh, and uh, and I will... It's one success. Yeah, I will get my success as I... I tried, Dorn. I tried. Oh. <laughs> Marmalade. Um, Marmalade's going to bop and weave through legs and get up to Phineas and just... Wake up, wake up, wake up! And cure, cast Cure Wounds on him. And you get Ooh, nice. 10 points back. Hey, oh. Ah. Two rock. Do and I see this other imp? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Stay reckless. down. Don't move. That's not the normal die either. Nope. That's a natural no, 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 20. Yep, yep. 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 That wasn't the normal die. Yep. Yep. As usual. Mm -hmm. yep. So... <laughs> 27 damage on this other imp. Jesus, oh, I, you know what? I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it by its throat, bring it closer. I'm like, ah! you're getting no promotion this time. Ah! Throw it up in the air and <laughs> come down right on it. <laughs> cool. So at this point, <sighs> combat is effectively over, but the guards are still attempting to get into this room. I am... I'll jump down and immediately fortify the uh, door. Hold okay. the door. I am. <laughs> Rhea and Tarina both brace up against it. The chair won't be holding that other door down. There are now several guards trying to break through the door. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work, even if I bump it. <sighs> what? What are you trying to do? I was going to perform again. <sighs> as it were. I mean, it's going to have to be real bloody high. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it. I could get it up there, but I don't think that's uh, useful. Um, I wonder what. Are the answers. people in the cages? Yelling for help. At yes, all? they are. Okay. I am going to run back to the dumb waiter. Hi. And get yeah, in no it. problem. And get in it and Not start, a problem. start going down. Okay. Let me know if I hit the bottom before they all hell breaks. Well, this. we'll see what they do. Please help! <laughs> Let us out! <laughs> I'm gonna start walking up to it, like okay. crawling up the stairs. No. Yep. No. But we don't have time. We need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Help them. We help them. Where the hell did Phineas go? Did I see him run away? Yeah, I think you would have seen him run. Damn it. He's not exactly quiet about... Well, especially not when Blue I'm Rock. not trying. Blue Rock, later, if everything hits the fan, we'll meet back at, and I'll give a location. That makes sense. I'll cause a distraction to try and take a few of them off the door. Good luck. <sighs> I'm going to tie a rope onto the, uh, the railing of the, the window. Wind? And then um, I'll attach it to 
something heavy to bring it. No, it just fall down. So I mean, there's stuff in the. You can test it to the to the railing of the stairs. That's yeah. pretty sturdy. It's cast iron. Yeah, I could. Just thinking, this wall it doesn't have any like porcelain or anything on the top, does it? I don't think so. No, like uh, buttresses. Yeah, anything that could get the rope caught on it. So I mean, you're you're in the tower here. It's got a pointed roof with a flag on top, and you're in one of these windows. No, I know, but the the, the wall itself is it a flat wall or is it is that a pointed? It's a flat wall. It's a brick wall. There's no spikes running at the top. Nope. Okay. So I'm guessing that would give me enough time to get down. I think you're down now. Yeah. So, I so rolled you're, back a, in the, you're back in the kitchen. I rolled a natural 20 yes. on my performance. <laughs> because although coming from behind the door, this wouldn't work at all, I will put on my big boy voice again. And, What's all that commotion? Why are you not at your posts? Sir, intruder is upstairs. Uh, how do you know? Uh, Finrick, do I, go and look. Go and look. Of course, my lord. Yes. I will hand him more coin before he leaves. <laughs> this time it'll be a clean ten. Out of the way, soldiers. We shall see what is up. Most likely it's just that that suit of armor has fallen over. Okay, while this is happening. So that's a lot of conversation. So while yeah, that's happening. While that's going on. And, and presumably I was doing it loud enough that you'll hear. I'm going to scoop <laughs> up all the caltrops. <laughs> <laughs> clean the room, clean the room, yeah. clean the room. <laughs> quick, quick okay. rooming. Okay. <laughs> I will go up the stairs. Okay. In front of the two cages, I will <laughs> open them both. Thank Quiet. you, sir. Thank Shut you. Up. Quiet. Move. If that's a good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Silence. Make not a sound. Follow the fist. They shut their mouths and continue on with you, Marmalade. Okay. Follow Phineas. Go. Oh, okay. I'll go back to the dumb, dumb waiter. Okay. You now, start making your way down. Perception. Our. These guards outside, are they still trying to get in, or... They... I'm going to tell you right now, they have ceased attempting to bash the door down. Okay. But... But... Fenric is going to need to open the door mm -hmm. to confirm that everything is okay. Yeah. It's going to look really bad for the guards if he's just, like, opens the door and it's fine and there's, like, nothing. Yes. He's yeah. He's like, where were you having so much trouble? If, on the other hand, he tries to open it and he can't, <laughs> or you're there... Immediately, that's... Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to go. Torino, Rio. We need to get the hell out of here. Follow Phineas. Get back down there. Reset We're the getting... room. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. going to be it's going to well, be tricky. Well, to an extent, the armor's destroyed. So no, no, no. Trust me. Reset the room. Yeah. The armor activated when the gut when those two guys escaped. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll move everything out of the way. I'll try to reset it as yeah. fast as I okay. can. Okay. I would like I sleight would. of hand check from somebody and a, an intelligence check from somebody. Well, I'm gonna do one it. for memory and one for quickly setting. I'm doing intelligence because my slide hand sucks. So that's a 19. Which one's that? For intelligence. Okay, so you remember how the room was set, and you're able to direct Rhea and Tarina to start moving everything around. My slide of hand was zero. Ooh. Okay. Fuck. I rolled a one minus one, zero. The room is not going to be ready in time for them to open that door. What do you want to do? <laughs> they're they're working, they're moving, but there's just too much mess. We just need to go. We need to get the hell out of here. Well, I've gone down the dumb waiter. I probably would have gone first. The two people are still in the bedroom. No, no, they followed you. Yeah, but it's going to take time yeah, for them to go up and down. One. It's a dumb waiter, not a. Yeah, <laughs> and he went so, out the window. If you put more than one person in there, it will probably snap the rope holding it so up. So what I'm saying is, you can pull one of the people back in. No, they'll give the game away. I can't. That they escaped. But yeah. So one of them's with you. So you guys decide They're what you're doing me. before I do mine. But on but on the winds of fate, somebody says, get the hell out of the room! Yeah! <laughs> no, no, we're on. We're almost there. So you are down the dumbwaiter. You have yep. two prisoners with you. Yeah, They're still up in the bedroom. You are now. with Tarina and Rhea and Kamel. They're not able to get this. They're not getting this room sorted. You know they're not getting this room sorted in time. No. They're just not quick enough. Damn it. Marmalade, Richter gave you two more. Oh, thank you. It's Thank oh, you, Richter. These me too. stairs are. I already had yours. So okay. nope. vicious on my old bones. I'll be right there. We need to go. We just <laughs> oh, need to get the hell out of here. There we go. Go. Venric, what do you see? Uh, I'm just about the way there, my lord. Oh, you good. went out the window. Hmm? You went out the window. No, I haven't left yet. I'm waiting for you guys to make your. your okay, moves. I'm. I'm. Why did it really need Rhea. all twelve of you <laughs> Rhea, to Rhea. come and investigate? Jesus. I take Ray and Tarina into the master bedroom, and then I close that door, and I close the other door. 
Okay. I, we're in the we're in the master bedroom. So gotcha. They're gonna do a bunch of dumb waiter. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm gonna just, deal with that shit. Just check. It might have been the prisoners. I'll I'll watch for them. Uh, this fire might have let them Guys, escape. Guys, prepare yourself. If it is the, we've been trying to open the door, so it's shut. Oh, let it, it's just stuck. There's you got to jimmy. Can it. I uh, show the armor toward the door? So that's what was blocking it. You can do that. Okay, I'll just show the armor toward the door like it malfunctioned. Okay. Um, and then I'll undo the rope. <sighs> is the courtyard open? Yep. It's no one's there because all the guards are in the room. They all came in. Correct. Inside. I jump. Okay. Would you like to... Uh, I was really nothing to break your fall. <laughs> the <laughs> so, ground? Other than the ground. <laughs> so I'm going to get you to roll three D6s. Fine. I can handle that. Roll low. Ooh. Eleven. You take 11 bludgeoning as you hit the ground. Could be worse. That's You're the, still up? I mean, that's, that's <laughs> a fair bit. <laughs> yep. It's a um, nice crunch sound as you hit the ground. I just hit the ground. <sighs> the door swings open I with up straight. pushing against the armor. Ah, yes, you see, the, the armor seems to have gone off. Intruders about. Do your job, guards. And just they start to fill out into the room. Oh, okay, well, by then, I'm assuming turn. that we're back down on the main floor by the... Yes, you are. And I'm assuming we are going to... Wait. Or do we want to go down that you're set in of the stairs? Kitchen. You're in the kitchen with me. Right. Yes. You're all in the kitchen at this point. Okay. Kamal is out in the front, is out in the out in the courtyard and unable to... Uh, well, he'll be able to get back into the house because they were able to finally get Does one of the doors. Does Fenric open. call back down to me? My like, lord! Yes. The yes. prisoners seem to have escaped. Check the courtyard. And I'll, like, I'm yelling that so you will hear outside. What? What are you doing? Uh, so I'm going to run my way in and go toward the basement. Okay. Which is, you have to go back around to the kitchen, basically. Yeah, kitchen. I go in, and as I go into the kitchen, I just spit out like, a okay. piece of tusk and say. So he, he, he bursts into the room of the, uh, with the rest if of If they're you. still here, then they must be downstairs. Sure. If they're still here. I'm staying in the kitchen if you all would like to be here when the guards possibly burst in to see so who the, I am. So the, the, the door off the side of the kitchen does lead into the basement. Fendrick can even tell you that. I am staying in the kitchen until they are not in the kitchen. Yes. Sounds good. So you all open the door. Yep. Start going down the stairs. Phineas, come on. I'll, don't worry, I've got him. No, no, you're oh. going down the stairs. Let him do it. Let him do it. <laughs> I'm the only one that they know might be here. <laughs> Let's not turn this into a fucking party wipe. <laughs> no, true. You're an idiot sometimes. <laughs> he's pushing you like he's like, he's like, <laughs> oh, good. All 14 of you are here. <laughs> oh, God. That. Uh, Fenric, I'm I'm tired of this interruption. Send them out to the courtyard, and and I'm leaving. Tell me when it's clear. Lock, yes, yes. Guards, lock down the facility. Do not allow anyone to escape. Yes, bar the courtyard doors. Yes, sir. And I'll, and I'll at that point, I will quietly follow them down the stairs. All right. <laughs> Before he actually comes guards. down, Damn Marmalade's guards. just on the st stairs hyperventilating like, oh my god, when am I gonna tell Dorn if Phineas dies? So, I, my original intention if it was Dorn up there was to get him to do the impersonation yes. because he's better than me. <laughs> but a natural 20. <laughs> that, 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 that's that's funny, man. It's much better than <gasps> my natural one on the... Uh, on the sleight of hand, we so, turned into a zero. For for reference, everybody, the entire villa is basically a no access point to this area. Gee, <laughs> trying to get through the man, the villa is going to be very difficult. <sighs> yeah, well, we're in the um, basement for now. a while. But you are now in the basement. You have descended down yes. the stairs, and you are. I can't believe that you survived that. You, that makes two of us. I think you might have been a little I mean, nice to us. It's only in D and D shenanigans we pull things. Yeah, I mean. I, <laughs> There's a reasonable enough that a bard who's heard the guy's voice could yeah. pull off what yeah, you're yeah. doing. You rolled really well. I did roll against it, and they did not. The succeed. butler's on our side right now. So yes, the butler is that's also the helping you. And the, and the cat. And the cat. So you had and enough. And the cat still with you. Yes. The viewers. Yeah. You had and enough. The yes, and the viewers. <laughs> and the viewers. You had yeah. enough going in your favor. Plus, I think you spent viewer inspiration to do that, right? Oh, yeah. I spent yeah. a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four stone pillars brace the ten foot high vaulted ceiling of this dry cellar, the walls of which are lined by a dozen barrels on wooden braces. Sorry, where are we coming where in exactly first off? Come? Yeah, you where are, are we... coming in. Stairs right there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. 
Perfect. <laughs> so we're in a storeroom. Perfect. Y- yeah, half the barrels of brass spigots tapped into them. The room also contains two, two stacks of wooden crates, one in the middle of the room and one by the south wall. Oh, does... Uh, before anybody does anything. So you haven't technically come down into the room yet. You're still on the stairwell. Oh, well, they, they would have been in the... Okay, room. so you're heading down, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just real quickly, I'm going to slobber chops, like, just kind of like... Imps? <clears throat> Perfect. We seem to be alone here. Good. Please My, don't do that again, Phineas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what would I tell <laughs> Dorn if something happened to <laughs> you? I... I didn't intend to set the armor off. Oh, Clorox, Clorox, how are you? Clorox going into his pocket. He's going to pull that potion out, and he's drinking it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how are you feeling now? Well, I don't know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a D4, right? 2D4 plus four. Yeah. Plus I'm going to get a little more temporary hit points, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll blow one of my one of my two charges. Wow. <laughs> Deep this subject. Is a, this has been a clusterfuck. <laughs> I loved it. That was great. That was That's amazing. I think I'm all right. Oh, I hate good. those blasted imps. Uh, you, you all did well. I'll go to the door <sighs> to the right. Okay. And I'll just listen. What do my oak ears hear? You make a perception check. Yeah, I want to pers- do a perception. Oh, you already described the room. Never mind. Eighteen. Eighteen. Running water. Interesting. Do you you hear also it? hear the sound of the crate behind you creaking slightly. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, he said there was no imps though. Is, uh, is slob, slobber chops. Uh, is there any? Is there anything else in here? I'll point with us? the creek out. Something is moving there. You see an eye peering at, and then kind of move out from the darkness. Show yourself. I don't like this I family. S- like a I'm humanoid gonna sniff. Eye? Yes, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, I want to sniff the air and. Sure. I'm. I'm also gonna be okay. So. Uh, that's a. That's a seventeen. Brimstone. <sighs> Interesting. Wood creaks and groans and bursts. And those s- purple creatures ah, covered another in spines one of with wings oh, burst out of the crate. And I see this. this they are not invisible. invisible. They are not invisible. There, only one. Three. Are Fuck. we? Are we immediately going into initiative? Nope. Or? Are you working with thirsty? <laughs> You hear a voice in your mind. No. Intruders will die, though. Uh, not intruders. Uh, friends of the family. You not wear the masks, you intruders. Well, we can't very well wear the masks in the front door, can we? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> that's not bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not terrible either. That'd be a uh, 17. No, 18. Oh, Dragon Cult. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a add a d six. So I'll add a d six. <laughs> that's what that look is. <laughs> uh, that'd be a what? Twenty three, twenty four? No, twenty two. That'll do it. I can add. <laughs> twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty two. Speak the words. Shit. Time for some bardic history. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I will do a religion check. <laughs> Go for it. We've, 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 we've seen it's, enough of this lore. You should be able to That's the thing. You, you could potentially piece together uh, something. This is what I'm thinking. Like, it's not totally it's unreasonable, not, it's not but reasonable. it's going to be a bit of a stretch. I am going to roll a 20. Is, are they speaking only to him, Ooh, or can we all understand? Telepathically to all of you. Ooh. 18. Ooh. Oh, this is coming to all of us? Yes, yeah, telepathically. Oh, I don't think I wrote it down, but I know they said stuff. Yeah, but we have. we would have... What do well, I gotta make? You Roll. know, yeah. I mean, you rolled an 18. You know that they are supposedly Zariel worshippers. This is what? Zariel is the Archduke of Avernus, one of the la- one of the layers of the Hells. So would I think that something like Hail Zariel would something suffice? like that would probably not be too far from what they're looking for. <sighs> Specifically, I speak Infernal. That's fine. You could speak, I speak to them in Draconic. Infernal. Draconic. Well, I speak orc. <laughs> well, I just dragon cult. <laughs> Does Marmalade have something? Yeah, if nobody has anything Marmalade's better, I'll reviewing notes. what I got. Well, yes, I'm reviewing notes because I know they said something about the rise of Zariel, but I didn't write it down. 
Well, there was, there was literally, the literally write notes. everything it was down. In one of the notes. Yeah, the, was, one of the right, right, one of the things. right. So take Thank a quick you. Look. I knew well, there was something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm rattling my brain. No, no, I, I, but I, I know it was in one of those remember. notes. Yeah, it was. The only thing is, I think that it was actually talking about the the chest of Zariel or the the gift of Zariel. Some fast skimming. That's exciting. Yes. Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> the speed reading. Yeah. Um, so, if nobody else comes up with something, I'm probably going to just wing it. Secure within the infernal case the words of Zariel, the declaration of the powerful purpose to which we set our hands lay on, lay to rest your doubts. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Wait. Speak the Ooh. words. Ooh. Oh, that one you said. What do you got? Uh, the old temples shall be overthrown, and their fans given over to the black hand, the white skull, and the bloody tear. Mm, no, that's, I think that's no. the that's three the gods. Three. Yeah. The previous one that you read. Read that one <coughs> earlier. That one. Uh, when the good. devils of, of the of Ernest brought down Alterel, the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate was claimed as a prize for hell. Mm -hmm. So the next part. Um, claim for Zariel, the souls of those who have once uh, served Alterel. Um, for I hold it here, Van Thamper Manor, secure within it its infernal case, the words of Zariel, the declaration of the powerful purpose to which we set we, our hands. We so already secure within yeah. the infernal no, we, case. we already talked about that. That's the actual contract. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you got bad um, no, uh, uh, That's my backup plan. Uh, no, in this case. So the only thing that I'm going to ask before I, I do this mm -hmm. is, would, so normally I would say something like, um, you know, by the grace of Zariel or something. I'm guessing in this case, that's the wrong thing to say. Uh, would it be like, uh, would I know as a bit of a religious scholar, would I know something other than grace that would be a better, um, like by the, not, I'm thinking not curse, but like by the, by the will, by the pain of Zarya. Like yeah. Right? By the, by the detriment Power of Zarya or skull. something. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably want to say something like, um, <gasps> By the starburst of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of want to focus on like the the will or the yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 The, yeah the dominance, the conquest, the tyranny, something along those lines. We are. Uh, She'll find it right after you say it. Don't worry. I yeah. know. We are. We are here from. <gasps> oh! Here oh! No! Wait! Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, I had to reread it again. That was way too oh. good. We are here by the will of Zion, and, and we are here for the detriment of all who, who would oppose. Are you going to stand in our way? Make a luck roll. You bet. We're going to start with a five, and we're going to go to a seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, every luck roll I've made lucky. has been like... <laughs> Some of us also have an infernal weapon in our hand as yeah, well. Yeah, well, just don't fucking oh. kill them because they're... No, 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 I'm not going to. I'm just, I'm just ready, just in case. <clears throat> Go unmolested. Thank you. Insight. You've done well. Nine. It's hard to read as a devil. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, carry on, and and like we have no choice. I'm going out the door to the hallway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'm not staying here. With you know, them. <laughs> you move out into what appears to be a sewer. Smooth stone trenches <sighs> cut into the floors, Again. channel water and waste. Uh, perception. I'm gonna take a whiff. I want to try and smell uh, Dorn and Rowan. Sure. The trenches uh, are four feet wide and three feet deep. You're back in the sewer, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> this is payback for the whole karma thing. Arching stone Shadow bridges Run. spanning them at irregular intervals. The ledge on either side of the trench is about three feet wide. There's to your left and to your right, and it just extends out into darkness. Fifteen perception. I'm trying to sniff the air to get... You can them. smell that they definitely came this way. Mm. Seems like they went to the right. Uh, the scent's coming from that direction. Can you hear him, Phineas? I Well, I've been able to hear him for yeah. the last mm -hmm. like been hour. Constant. Can I hear him? Okay. No. Okay. Um, now, for the record... Uh, at this point, it's been long enough that my comprehend languages stuff would have mm -hmm. worn off. But I'm imagining at this point, uh, at least for the sake of finding imps, I've got enough of a rapport with the 
Slobber Chops Slobber will Chops. let you know yeah. if he sees anything invisible. Yeah. I continue to give him little bits of food as he we go. He can see invisibility permanently, so yeah. he'll let you know yeah. if he notices something. Let well. me lead. So I'll trudge down the down the uh, the area. Something you also notice, Clue Rock, is that <laughs> while you can definitely get like that the scent of the sewer, there is also like over top of it this perfume <laughs> incense that seems to have been overlaid as well. Is it familiar? Um, not really. It's just it. It seems like they're trying to overpower the scent of the sewers to kind of make this place a little more pleasant. To they spend time. Down. They've spent time down. This place is, this has been in operation for a while. It's an awful sweet smelling sewer. Yes, well, uh, they seem to have guards down here, so I think, I think they use this. Yes. Starting to head cautious. to the right, um, you can see that there is the occasional little rat trap. Some of them have caught rats. Others of others of them are still kind of lying in wait over outside of various pipes and things that emerge out. I'll grab a few of them as currency for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? It might be okay with that. I'll just hold it in front of its nose and Pres- presumably it prefers live ones. But yeah. yeah. Someone give me a luck roll. Not me. I rolled too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a pass. Nice. Seven, then 13. Okay. Continuing down, you eventually reach a branch that forks to the left and continues on. You look to the left and realize it's a dead end. Oh, oh well. Then. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. We'll go off. Carry straight on. Uh, are, now, you are still in the lead? Are you, uh, what are you doing for light sources? I got 10 feet on my hammer. And blindsight 10 feet. Yeah, and dark vision, marmalade. So, um, the thing is, there are oil lanterns fitted with thick panes of green tinted glass hanging at regular intervals on one like foot color. iron changes. So, yeah. you can also just use those. Yeah, if we we're able to see fine with that, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, it, it, it sheds that. dim light. It's not very well lit, but you can see. As long as I can see, that's all that matters. I'm going to count on my best friend Slobber Chops being able to see for me, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to worry a lot about it. And I've got a glowing hammer, so let's yeah. go. Do I put you in the backpack? Uh, I would imagine I'd just yeah. be walking. Well, There's no reason for you to yeah. try and, Like, this isn't a particularly tall yeah, How high area. is the ceiling? The ceiling is uh, nine feet high. Yeah. And curved. Okay, yeah. Right. yeah. I would be walking. Yeah. That goes to the end and turn right. Okay. What do I see? It continues on for a fair bit, and you can see a door at the other side, but it also veers to the right. Now, are you just walking out and immediately turning? No, I'm peeking. Okay, make a stealth check. Oh, wrong person for that one. <laughs> you wanted to go first. You wanted to go first. Oh, well, I rolled a 20 and a 10. I'll take 10, which I will then add to, because it's a rare occasion where I get to add this kind of stealth. Uh, we'll do one more. Okay. Uh, 17. 17. I think that's probably enough. You look around and you can see that uh, there we go. outside of the door, on either side of the door, is uh, a humanoid um, wearing a thin golden mask shaped like a devil's face and wearing black robes. I'll lean back. Humanoid. Probably part of the cult. Mm. They also yeah. seem to be holding sensors that are emitting a nice perfume. Mm. We could end them. Ooh, I don't like that. If we get the, I could get the drop on them. Oh yeah. Uh, well, if, if we attack them, uh, whoever's in that room will be aware. Yes. Unless they're guarding the room. But that's my point. Well, they yeah. almost certainly are guarding that room. Yeah. I'm sorry. I missed how many you said were there. I only two. two? One okay. on either side of the door. Okay. You, you, you say is, you're certain this is the direction of dawn? Yes, I can smell him. Can I? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, he's right in that room. He's uh, in that room. Uh, uh, Row in two. I don't. You, you said they were they were carrying perfume. Yes. I don't think they would do that for the prisoners. What? I, 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 I think there's someone other than Dawn and Rowan in the room right now. Oh, I see. They they wouldn't be perfuming the hallway for prisoners. Mm-hmm. 
Well, what would you recommend we do then? It, send the cat. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's an option. Uh, I was going to suggest we wait. We could yeah. just do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's an option. I mean, can you hear Dorn? Yes. I've been able to hear you can Dorn hear for the What's he last... saying right now? Uh, that's a good question. He's, a good he's assessment screaming in pain mostly. Oh, yeah. well, okay, well, that sucks. confirms it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, Dorn. Dorn is being uh, attacked right I'm, now. I'm telling you, I don't know anything. I was just on my... Ow! That... They're being interrogated. Uh, if we wait, uh, they'll leave. But also, if we go now, we can save them. Well, I have the ability Rowan's to... Rowan's in there, right? Yeah. I don't care what the old man presume, says. Presume, I just charge around the corner oh, and I okay. run toward them. Okay. Well, that's uh, a, that's as, he's, as he's doing that, I am preparing a spell. Fascinating. You can guess which one it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm if he running, goes, I'm going to go as well, and I'll take I'm the You run around, they're like, whoa! I'm and going, they go I'm for... Right for them. Yep. Yeah, Are you going for the door or going for the guards? Um, They can take the guards. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> With no, my tiny I'm, dagger. I don't know what my options are. How far away am I from them? Like 30 feet? 35. Um, but you have aggression. Yeah, yeah. So in that case... Yeah, I go for them. Might as well get get a jump on them. If he gets one, I'll get the other. Yeah, if I can kill them before the door even opens, that's go for it. Make an attack. You guys basically surprise them because they're definitely not expecting. Natural twenty for me. Twenty one mm. for me. Very good. Both hit. Uh, I guess I for the third time, I'll mana <laughs> devour him. Uh, sixteen damage. No, fifteen damage. Sorry. Twelve. Seventeen. Okay. Twenty one for me. Okay. I stop life on them. <laughs> he just kind of has a withered husk, kind of falls to the ground. The one that you hit, though, kind of grabs himself. Ah! Ah! And then crumples over. Dead? Yep. Perfect. Does Doran change what he's saying? Uh, well, he stopped. And then I will. I'll lean up, on the other lean side up of the door. against the door and I'm just ready. Okay. And knock on the door. Who's there? Your doom. And I kick the door open. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I kick the door open and, and move in. A broad-shouldered figure with purple skin and a beard of writhing snake-like tentacles stands in the middle of a room lined by iron doors, tightening its grip on a glaive as it glares at you through the darkness. Each door is set with a small barred window and a ring of keys hangs from the creature's belt. There are four prisoners, two of them you recognize. I'll need those. I'll point to the keys. I am right behind him. Okay. I have a picture. Let's see him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, my. Yeah, he'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks beautiful. I hate him already. Yeah, he'll be super easy to take oh, down. Oh, that's sure. so creepy. Mm -hmm. All right, so how would you like to handle so, this? So, that was what I was about to say. So, uh, basically, we have two options here. If we want to go a little bit late today, we can run this encounter. Second option. Let me tell you the second option yep. first. Second option. <laughs> he runs to him, and both of them vanish. I think I was going to try and lead him out down the sewers anyway. Yeah. That's basically what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So what I was going to say is I think that if we were going to run the encounter for real, then we should have Dorn and Rowan here anyways. Right. So I would vote for option two. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to go As long for. as I can get an opportunity to attack on him as he runs past. Sure, why not? <laughs> just, yeah. for just for funsies. So I goat him out. <laughs> yeah, that's 24. <laughs> he swings his glaive. He doesn't care as you swing into his side, and he just comes at you. No, I'll, I'll let him chase me around the hall. Okay. Yeah, now I do uh, 14 damage. Okay. All right. And with that, we're going to be calling it there. You have found Dorn and Rowan. Yay! Yay! We did the thing. But I'm sure Dorn is just fine. Yep. And by the grace of Bahamut, we somehow managed to survive. I was wondering how the hell we were going to get me out. 
I was afraid. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just. I was gonna try and lure the guards and let them chase me. Yeah, now know. we gotta fucking find you. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You'll find us. I know I'm going to be one. at PAX East <laughs> next weekend, so the next sure Avernus, is. heading to Avernus, I will not be here, <sighs> but Dorn and Rowan will. So it's just a, an ongoing uh, dosi do of who the you hell. You have quite the allotment of people with you now. You've got Rhea, Tarina, Tarina. You've got those two other prisoners, and I've got four people, including Dorn and Rowan. In oh, God, room. I forgot about those two oh, prisoners. They had to come with us. They Plus had a to. Cat. No, and a cat. And, and Slav Jobs, my yeah. bestest friend. Yeah. Man, it's an army at this point. That was uh, that oh, was a lot of fun. Damn. Nice and tense. Uh, <laughs> That was of, pretty intense. A couple of standard Dean D and D esque things, which is like, it's like a, that's impossible to do. But I rolled a twenty, yeah. so you did. <laughs> so did I. You've hacked the car. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for joining us on this Easter Sunday. We appreciate your viewership as always. And and thank you for all the, yes. the subs, the new subs especially. Yes. Welcome, and thank uh, you. the resubs and the gifted inspiration and all of that stuff. We appreciate you all. You're, You're all lovely. wonderful. Uh, as Tom says, he will be gone for the next little while. Are you going to likely be doing True Talk on the road? Or? No, we are doing a de designer diary instead. So you'll cool. get the entire Lynn Vander crew instead of just moi, which makes it three times better. And uh, and we have uh, we're going to do at least at least one uh, Lynn Vander's designer diary. We'll let you know on uh, Discord and stuff when and how that'll come as soon as we get that information on hand. And then uh, I don't believe we'll be doing Friday Night DDO, but we might still, just without me. And then Sunday's Avernus is back here with you guys. Um, and that was yes. good. Yeah. And then Seven Side, of course. But. Thursdays, we got Side Seven. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about Friday. We'll let you know. But uh, And don't forget Witcher 2 on Wednesday night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll also miss. Episode 2 of The Witcher. Good luck without your bard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah. We'll, we'll get that part. Apparently, it's a part centric one. Well, yeah. it's, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a charisma main adventure, yes. Yeah. Uh, we'll oh, be I'll be perfect at it then. Yeah, you should be okay. Thank <laughs> you all so much. <laughs> yes. We love you all. Take care. And uh, we'll see you soon. Happy Easter, folks. And if I could just <laughs> click the button, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just let me mute this.